please, for the love of God, work. Uh, it's going to be a long night once we get going. Last one went two hours and 26 minutes. God damn. God damn. I guarantee my wife will be in here at some point going like, are you this, still on that thing? This, this might go long if we don't get Scott to be quiet. He talks too much. <laughs> he won't <laughs> shut up. He just keeps going, man. We're just kidding, Scott. I could listen to you all day, man. <laughs> you can listen to me all week. Yeah, I listen to you all night. Shit, <laughs> go three-hour podcast with Scott talking. Just reading a book. Just read us a book, Scott. <laughs> Audio book. I miss you. I love you. Mm. Rick, have you listened to the IMS podcast with Scott in it? It's pretty good, dude. I feel like I know Scott on a personal level now and shit. Will you see if the stream is up? Because I can't find yeah, it. Yeah, I can see myself. It is. it is up? Okay, can you please listen to everyone talking and make sure the audio sounds good? Yeah, we're good. We're good. I can hear me. I get to listen to an ad. Jesus, Jesus, you need to touch your camera up, up a little bit. A little more. A little more. There you go. That's better. Oh, hey, there you go. Woo! <laughs> oh, thank God. Yeah, get that face out of here. Is this better? Is this better? <laughs> hey, guys, I'm new at this. Trying to run the stream, man. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Kilroy podcast. <laughs> okay. Does, does everyone's audio sound even? Everybody, everybody, say something. Take turns saying something. Oh. Fuck! I muted myself. Yeah. Jesus. S saying something. Good evening. This is Scott Clark from the Gaming Outsider Podcast. It's morphin' time. <laughs> Tyrannosaurus. Rex. Scott sounds like a recording. Scott, you sound like a recording. Talk more. Hello, my name is Scott. <laughs> <laughs> I have a cool, sensual voice. He does sound like a voice like that. A voice like, hello, everybody. Come on, just come here and calm your nerves down. Just yeah, I'm very NPR. It's a problem. It's Are you fun. feeling yeah. warm and tingly? Have you, seen that, have you seen that Saturday Night Live skit where they do the radio show with Alec Baldwin <laughs> and the sweaty oh. balls? <laughs> That's what I feel like I, whenever I get on a mic. That's what I feel like I'm doing. <laughs> uh, yes, I'm here to talk about video games. And uh, we're going to talk about what we've been playing and some news. And <laughs> Yeah, and, um, I like the way those balls taste in my mouth. <laughs> well, that's because I've been resting them on a hot stove. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Feel, oh, fueled are. by energy drink. There's no alcohol. Ah, so I'm good to log into the Horrible Gamers Podcast Twitch? Uh, yes? Okay. I don't know. In. Can you, like, log into your own or something so you don't potentially ruin it? Well, so I'm, if, I'm on it now. Am I ruining it? I was going to say, if Gunny Chief is commenting on that, there's, we're live. I mean, it started already. Right? Uh oh, look, this is perfect. Uh, wait, is Gunny in the chat? Yes, yeah. he is. Gunny, done, can you uh, please listen to all of us talk and, and let us know uh, if all of our microphone volumes are level or if they're. Something needs to change. Check my check. Check one, two. Horrible, horrible games podcast. Yeah, dude, I could go into the Twitch. I'm on it right now. Look, I'm going to start typing. Talk, oh, hi, talk, bro. talking about stuff. It's Jesus. This is Scott Clark from the Horrible Gamers podcast. <laughs> Temporarily. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for listening to NPR. My name's Jeremy. I like the sound of my own voice. All right, he says the levels are that. good. I think that means we are we are good. good? Yeah. Thanks, so. huh? Are we are we a go? In that case, I'm uh, going to go take a piss Jesus. and I'll be back. <laughs> After these messages, we'll be right back. Today's show is brought to you by the letter S.
for Scott. Yay! And by the letter J for J. So what's this? This is the international symbol for what? Eh, mm. Eh, mm. What? What? <laughs> mm. uh, you got me. Dick right, punch. Uh... <laughs> it must just be too insider. <laughs> when we were at the convention, I kept saying um, I, I would just do that, and then yeah, all right. It doesn't. It's easier to make older people laugh. Okay. <laughs> just came to that realization. <laughs> That's all right. You should you should have heard Jesus when he asked me to be on the show. He's like. He's like, man, we don't care if you're old. Yeah, just come on, we don't, we don't care. Okay. Sure. <laughs> I was like, I didn't realize you guys thought I, I was old. I, I don't even know. Like he, like, good man, you fucking messaged me something about old age, younger. I was like, the fuck is Scott? Is he drunk? So what is he talking about? What are you talking about? I didn't uh, say anything about. Yeah, old. you mess. I could read your message right now. <laughs> <laughs> you were like, I was like, where did that come from? I think you you were confusing me with somebody else. No, you were like, hey, I'll, uh, you know, something about Younger. Didn't know Younger, other members wanted to podcast guests. And I was like, what the fuck? Scott, hi? Is he doing I said, if you need an then? extra guest, I'll be happy to join you guys. Let me know if you need me for sure. I didn't know. Oh. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? Younger, other members that wanted to guess. <laughs> I meant, what I meant to say is I didn't know. If you had other members that wanted to guest. That, that's why I was like, what the fuck is he? I was like, whatever. He probably thinks he's too old or something. I don't know. What's, what the fuck's going on here? I don't know. So I had to reply to you, man. Shit. That's funny. I thought I was like, man, he must think I'm like 90 or something. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Jesus must be doing drugs or something. It, is, it actually is kind of interesting. I wonder which one was really the oldest. I don't even know if it is you, Scott. I have a feeling it's not. I'm 35. You're what? 35. Okay. I'm 36. Barely. I'm young, man. I'm young. I'm like the baby of the group. What, what's All right. Fun? I got a Wait, bunch of beer and a glass of wine that I have to yeah, drink through a straw. This is going to be good. Bring Scott eight children, so he's probably like 41. <laughs> eight children. <laughs> how, old are, how old are you, uh, Brink? Brink Brink's not 30. You're 30? Yeah. Wait, when we started the podcast, you were like 28, dude. Yeah. It's been two years? Fuck. It hasn't been two years. I don't... No, I met you when you yeah, were 28. Think, yeah. There we Seems go. more accurate. Uh, there we go. Yeah, because then we did a bunch of drugs together, and we were like, we should do a podcast. Yeah, we like did all that heroin. Those were the good old yeah, days. And then we had like those visions of like doing a podcast. Mm -hmm. We're like, yeah, we should do a podcast. It was, yeah, yeah, it was like that. It was like Boondock Saints. When they both wake up out of their beds and they just had this like godly vision. <laughs> this godly vision of doing a podcast. Yeah. That was just us, like dude. A, oh, the origin story should be made to a comic book. You should. Me and Brick were getting high one day, playing Call one, of Duty. One day, some people that listen to a show called This Xbox Life that is <laughs> a fairly decent gaming podcast. Yeah. Made a funny one where we're allowed to curse and act like men. We're allowed to curse. Yeah. In a world. <laughs> you, you know, that's actually Brink's voice during that intro. Mm hmm. That's pretty crazy, man. I didn't, I didn't know that until Brink told me. I was like, I'm. I'm surprised. I'm chills. Shocked. I just got chills, Brink. Mm hmm. That is Brink's voice in the world. It actually is sick. I'm gonna. I'll admit it. I mean, I don't want to get all like cheesy, but no, seriously, that I. I that's one of my favorite parts of the podcast is the beginning. <laughs> oh really? All right. Well, that's <laughs> yeah, good to know because I've been getting sick of listening to it. We're so. <laughs> yeah, listening to that. Show. I'm like Brink. You gotta make a new one, man. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna come up with something new soon. Uh, is this working? I don't. No, it's not. But we've definitely started the show. Is this not correct? Other than it just not really like having any direction at this point. No, well, it hasn't officially started. We're just like we're just just. Waiting. Well, how's it like on Twitch then? Well, we're we're on Twitch. People can hear us. The yeah. stream is live on Twitch. He just hasn't started recording yet. Yeah, we're not recording. Oh. It is recording, but oh. we oh, it is. we it just is. haven't officially started the show yet. 
Okay. You want to start? Okay. Are we good? Uh, you, don't look, you don't look focused, Brink. I need you to focus, man. The uh, picture's going to be screwed up for a second. Okay. Go. You see a password on there? Yeah, I'm sending it. Oh, okay. Yeah, that works, too. Hey! Hey, Becca! Jesus says, hey, Becca. Tell her hi. Tell her we need her on. And he said just she like that. Hey, Jesus. Becca. Hi. Oh, tell her hi. <laughs> tell her we miss her on the podcast. He says, we miss you on the podcast. He's talking with that dude oh. from Napoleon Dynamite. <laughs> Why is this our You're just mad because I've been uh, online chat with babes all day. Yeah, my uh, six-year-old daughter has been playing this game called Crossy Road on the huh? iPad, like oh, religiously. Yeah. She's unlocked Whoa. all the characters and she's like obsessed with it. I think uh, she needs to be a guest on the show and, and talk about Crossy Road. <laughs> Let's do it. MLG Crossy Road player. Yeah, dude, for Rick's real. <laughs> I can speak on Crossy Road. Road. You play Cross Hero? She'll school you, man. She'll school you, dude. I, I deleted it, but I did. Actually, the one I've been playing recently is Shooty Skies. My wife's the, the big iPad gamer, so. Hey, guys. Do you play Sky, Cross Hero? Cross Hero, Shooty Skies. How about Shooty Skies? It's pretty good. <laughs> oh, I've been playing that, uh, The Martian, the movie, the game on the iOS. I haven't watched the movie yet, but I'm playing the game on the iOS. Go see the movie, man. I want to see the movie. I need to see the movie. I heard it was I good. I want to tell you, fuck the movie, read the book. Well, I guess you're, oh, you're in listening to the audio book, huh? Yeah, I listened to the audio book already. I'm so trying to good, avoid right? being one of those people, you know, who are like, the book was so much better. Like, really? screw the movie. I'm trying to avoid doing that, but it's I, with Oops. this one, I almost can't help myself. One of those douchebags that's like, oh, the book yeah. is much better. I'm a nerd. I'm a the book is so hipster. much better. Oh, my God. I, I read books all day. I just smoke weed and read books and... You know, go go get my coffee at the coffee shop and read books and fuck fucking hippies. <laughs> we lost a viewer already. We lost two viewers already. They're hippies. Uh, probably got mad at me because they're probably from Portland. All right, should we like do the podcast or something? Yeah, let's do it. Everybody ready? I'm ready. What episode is this? Bring seventy. <laughs> <laughs> I was gone last week, so I don't know, man. Shit! Oh my god, look at what episode. What episode is this, Scott? For real, oh. you don't know, man. I don't know the episode Damn. number. Okay, <laughs> episode seventy-three. Jesus, fuck! I need to keep track of that more often. Jeremy, damn it! <laughs> All right, let's go. All right. Let's get this disaster Woo! over with. Three, two, one. Welcome to the Horrible Gamers Podcast, episode number seventy-three. Today is October tenth, twenty fifteen. Um, I am Jesus walks a lot. Welcome, everybody, ladies and gentlemen. We have special guests today. We got the one, the only, my friend, my co-host, Brink of Eternity. Hello, Brink. Hey, man. That, your enthusiasm sounds very forced. I know. It's very forced, actually. I'm not, really that, I'm not that excited for the show. We got Scott Clark from the Gaming Outsider, also the Hollywood Outsider. How's it going, Scott? I'm doing fantastic, Jesus. How are you doing this evening? Pretty good, man. Pretty good. I missed I missed your voice. I listened to you like on a bunch of podcasts this week, so I missed your voice. So I had to have you on the show. Well, I appreciate it, man. Yeah, I've been all over this week, uh, guesting on Sean on uh, I Am's podcast, and I'm on your podcast. Yeah. Doing three or four podcasts of my own. I'm all over. Yeah. And we also have Giants fan Jay. I don't know if he wants to give out his real name, but his gamer tag is Giant Fans Jay. Or, or his name? What? That's not even your gamer tag, is it? My gamer tag is JKSJ. Oh, yeah, whatever. That's stupid. Just kidding, just kidding. JKSJ. Jesus. Is on the show today. He is a guest from the community. Welcome. We're glad to have you on. And how's it going, everybody? How's everybody been this week? That's been a pretty good week. Been a busy week. Been mm. uh, been pretty exhausted. But so, did get some gaming in for once, so I'm, I'm excited to talk about it. We're all excited to hear about it. So what have you been playing this week, Scott? Uh, well, the big thing that I think all of us have been playing, at least I believe we have, is the the beta for uh, Battle Star Wars Battlefront, which uh, has been a very wow surprising experience. I was expecting this game to be good, but uh, I, I did not expect to have as much fun as I've been having with a beta. Uh, I, I love Star Wars. I've never gotten into Battlefront. I've never gotten to Battlefield, 
I'm not a big multiplayer guy as it is because um, I, I suck at them, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. I'm, I'm no good. But, uh, wow, I am having a blast with this. Because the big thing for me is that for a multiplayer game to be, to be good for me is uh, I want to I feel successful doing it. And even though I'm at the bottom of the leaderboards consistently, <laughs> I'm still getting a few kills here and there. So I'm having a blast with it. What about you guys? Yeah, I've been having a blast with uh, with Battlefront. I played a lot of it yesterday, the day before as well. When I say a lot, I mean I played hours straight. It was me and the Carbide. We were playing forever. And um, yeah, I also played other games. But I want to hear what what else have you been playing besides the Battlefront? Well, we're moving on already. Excited. Well, we're gonna we're go, we're all gonna talk Battlefront, but let's let's talk about the other games first. Let's get all the other little bullshit games out of the way, and then we're gonna talk about the big game Star Wars uh, once. We get to it, man, because it's going to be See, a big conversation about Star Wars. I already have a lot of rants. People hate it. People love it. The P's, the the frames, the Xboxes, the Playstations, all that. Uh, so you want to hear about all the insignificant games first is what you're saying? Yeah, pretty much. All the other bullshits like, like whatever the hell else you've been playing. All right. Well, I actually did start Soma last night on PS4, which I think uh, I'ms talked about on past episodes. Yeah. So I won't, I won't talk too long on that, but I will say that I really am – Digging that game quite a bit. Uh, I w it does not look as good as uh, I was hoping. It seems to be, especially the beginning, feels almost like I'm playing a even like two gen, two gens ago game, like a PS2 really? or Xbox One game. <clears throat> but once you get into the uh, the meat of the game, it starts to look a little bit more organic and 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 uh, likable. So, but that's one that uh, I, I recommend going in as blind as possible if you if you can, because the story is super intriguing. Um, but it's not a traditional game. It's not a shooter. It's not. Uh, it's more of a. I don't want to say an exploring game, but you're walking around discovering. Uh, the way that I've I've been explaining it to people is is imagine Bioshock, if it didn't have the combat, and um, had some minor puzzles or minor puzzle elements with it. Hmm. But it's it, a, but it's a horror game. Okay, I was just gonna ask. I mean, it's it's a horror game. So is it one of these games where you start playing and then 15 minutes later you think maybe I should take a break because your nerves are are just being set off the entire time? No, it's not that bad because the, the parts that are nerve-wracking is the mystery because you, you, you weird stuff starts happening very early on and I'm trying to dance around what actually is happening because I think that's the fun of it is discovering what's going on in the game. But... Uh, um, the nerve-wracking part is these these stealth portions, where it almost reminds me of Alien Re Alien um, Isolation, where you have to like figure out how to navigate around an enemy without any weapons. Mm. Uh, so it's 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 a very nerve-wracking stealth game in that sense. But um, and they don't give you a whole lot of explanation. There's no HUD. There's no health meter. There's no anything except for your little dot reticle on the screen that tells you, you know, where to aim at, at certain things, and that that's all you've got. So, but uh, it's definitely enjoyable. It's real cheap. If you have PlayStation Plus, it's only like 27 bucks. I kind of blind bought it, and um, I I'm not regretting it whatsoever. I'm really eager to see where it goes. Is this game like Outlast, the other PS4 game? Or it actually came on Xbox One, but it was first on PS4, wasn't it? I, I actually didn't play Outlast. I played uh, the, the Evil Evil Within. Uh -huh. when I think those two came out very around the same time, and I wound up playing Evil Within instead. It's not it's not a typical horror game. This is made by the guys that made uh, Amnesia, the, the Dark Descent, and um, I can't remember the sequel. But it, it's a it's kind of like a horror survival game without any combat. It's it's a lot of sneaking around and hiding from your enemies yeah. instead of facing them outright, which which it can be a turnoff for a lot of people. But uh, man, the story is really good, and uh, I, I'm some messed up stuff happens, and it's it's pretty good. I would I would recommend it. Okay. So did anybody weird. else play it, or am I am I alone? I'm you're, not. I think you're the only one. I, I haven't played it. I know Brink hasn't. I know the only one who's probably played it on the podcast is actually I am's. Maybe Rob has has it, but he hasn't tried it. I don't think. That's interesting, though, man. So you're saying it is actually worth? What's the price of this game? Is it is it thirty dollars or? If you if you have PlayStation Plus, it's twenty six ninety nine. It's only on PlayStation at the moment. Or PC. Well, it's a PC game as well. Uh, PC and PS4. I have. It is not available on Xbox One. Okay. But definitely worth checking out. The only other thing I've been playing is I've been playing an iOS game called Puzzlecraft 2. Have you guys ever heard of the Puzzlecraft series? 
have not heard mm, of nope. Elder Scrolls. No. Uh, it's a it's a little game that you can pick up and play for five minutes. It's very much a resource gathering game. Uh, it's got the microtransactions and that kind of thing built into it, but it's one that you don't have to use microtransactions at all. So I haven't spent a dime on it. It's a free download, uh, but it is super super addicting. It's got this mechanic where you go to harvest your farm, like uh, your vegetables and that kind of thing, and you're also heart you're also mining uh, rock and ore and everything from your mine. And to do it, they give you like it looks like a match three game, you know, like a um, like a Candy Crush or whatever. But instead of matching three, you're actually tracing a line of like materials and trying to get as many as you can. You have limited moves, and the more you get, the more resources you get. The more resources you get, the more uh, you can purchase upgrades and move further on the, in the game. And it's it's I'm not selling it very well, but it is super addicting. And if you like. If you need something to uh, play, like while you're standing in line at the bank or something, it's it's pretty quality. I highly recommend it. Is this an iPhone okay. game? Yeah. It is on. Um, I am playing it on iPhone. Yes. It is not available on Droid, but the original Puzzlecraft is available on Droid, and uh, it's actually probably a better place to start than Puzzlecraft Two, just because Puzzlecraft Two kind of drops you in as if you already know how to play the game, whereas Puzzle Craft kind of teaches you the mechanics a little bit better. It's got it's got a little bit more uh, training or demo, so to speak. So, if it sounds intriguing at all, it's I, I've been playing it like every day. It's really good. Nice. Okay. All right. So you been okay. playing? I'm always looking yeah, for mobile games that are actually fun. Because usually, mm -hmm. I find one that's kind of neat, and I'll play it for five minutes. And I don't know if my attention span is failing or what it is, but it's, for some reason. <laughs> Mobile games, just I have such a hard time getting into. Maybe I'm just used to playing on the big screen. Oh yeah, don't get me wrong. I'd much rather be playing in front of my console. But um, if I, especially if I'm sitting up in the living room while my wife's watching her TV shows and I want to do something, but I can't play my Xbox down in the basement, I got my phone and I can play that and have a mm -hmm. good time with it. It's very, very satisfying. I don't. The drawing mechanic sounds really stupid, but there's something satisfying about getting these long chains of the same material. And trying to fill up the whole screen, and then everything drops, and you get something else, and it's 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 pretty cool. So you know what that? Hey, I... Oh, go ahead. Oh no, go ahead. Finish your thought. Oh, I was gonna say that sounds like uh, a game I've mentioned on here before several months ago called Darklings, and it's a mobile game. Okay. And these shapes pop up on your screen, and you have to draw them with your finger, and you, when you get one, you chain it to the next one, and you have to oh, to build okay. a chain of these shapes. So it sounds. Like a pretty similar type of game. Very cool. A uh, real quick, I, if it's okay with you guys, I want to give a shout out to a buddy of mine that's actually on the Twitch feed. All right, uh, he's listed there as uh, Shadow Game Beanie Five. He's a real good buddy of mine that I grew up with. His name is Roy, so I had to give a shout out to my my buddy there. He, I kind of grew up with him, and uh, he's never come on one of these before. So, so what's up, Roy? Roy? Hey, Roy. <laughs> Thank you for coming, Roy. You'll hear us in about seven seconds after the delay. But. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what about you, Giants fan? Jay, Jeremy? What can I just call you Jeremy? <laughs> yeah, call me Jeremy. All right, Jeremy. What have you been playing? Uh, well, I was actually making notes. I'm so nerdy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, but I've been gone um, all week, so I'm kind of like give you a little gist of maybe a little bit of last week and then okay. into this week. Yeah, what are you into? Uh, so I rented uh, Tony Hawk 5 because I heard everybody trashing it to shit mm. and um, just saying how garbage it was. But I've, I've been playing Tony Hawk since PlayStation, so I wanted to check it out. And, I mean, I know a lot of the recent ones were pretty crappy. But um, put it on, and, and, yeah, it was terrible. The menu was terrible and everything like that. And it took forever to pop even one achievement. I mean, I was looking at the menu through the achievements, and I'm like, this is insane. And some of the achievements were just create, create a park. I'm like, okay, so I'll create a park. And I literally just put one ramp and sent it. <laughs> Pop. There goes the achievement. I'm like, okay. yes. Oh, oh you're speaking uh, my language, man. I may have to go red boxes now just to get some easy achievements. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's so, I'm not, obviously, my gamer score is pretty weak, but I love when it pops an achievement. I hate it's it. Just, it's just like, oh, I yes. I fucking hate Why it. Why did I get that one? Oh. It'd be cooler if you could actually like look it up. Yeah. It's easier rather than some snapping 
Oh god, I can't wait for oh, that. Oh, the update, the update fixed that. Now, when when you get an achievement, it shows yeah. you the name of the achievement yeah. and then it'll flip the panel over and show you what what earned that achievement. So mm -hmm. Yeah, but, but I that, I don't know. I guess I just always want to dig into a little further going like what it what what does the picture look like so I could see if I'm gonna make it as my wallpaper. Okay. Gotcha. <laughs> you can the, can't it, you long you're, press you're the right. guide button and it'll You can, but I only I think it snaps it, so it kinda of takes it a while. It. Kind of, uh... yeah. And then you yeah. panic and then you crash your guy like, and everything get explodes. Of, yeah. Get out of this fucking snap screen or you're fucked. <laughs> oh, so That's so you were saying that everybody was trashing this game last week. You don't feel the well, same no, no, way. Not on the show, but just no. I was, I was trashing the game oh. last week. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I was talking shit about it because, of course, yeah. I watched those videos. You know, it was one of the worst games released in a long time, especially yeah. for sixty bucks. So it's not worth. You bucks. you rented it. You said Red Redbox. Okay, Redbox. I know they're they're yeah. everywhere. Redbox. It's one well, of like the first next gen games that are got Redbox. Um. Yeah, they're finally getting it worth it? new games. Like that Transformers Devastation mm -hmm. just popped in. Red. They had it at my local red box. So, um, I, I, you know, for a rental, holy hell yeah. I mean, for $3, you know, I got to do some Tony Hawk's. By the end, I was actually pulling off some pretty long tricks and stuff. My wife was like, holy shit, check that out. And I had this uh, power meter. So as you're doing tricks, you're in this power meter. And then, then like a, almost like a blue line starts on you. And they can throw in some crazy tricks together, but it only lasts so long. Okay. But what's kind of a bummer is that that you know power up doesn't just last the whole time, because that game would be cr way more fun if it did. Hmm. But um, there's you know you're some at some point you're doing like little uh, it, there's like little levels or achievements you have to do on each course. And you're doing like kick flips to throw uh, fireworks at targets and stuff. So, I mean, as I dug into it a little further, the menu is terrible and cumbersome, but once you get the hang of, of using it, like at one point I was in the pool and I was just knocking beach balls out of it, and I, I know this all sounds insane and I'm making it up, but... <laughs> no, it almost sounds like they've sort of taken a hint from Sunset Overdrive and added some, some goofy yeah. elements yeah. to the game. Yeah. Like, as soon as you said, like shoot fireworks at targets, I immediately thought Sunset Overdrive. Yeah. Like at one point you're yeah. uh, you're like supposed to be the ice cream man and you're uh, so you're doing um, rails and you're you uh, you earn the the milk or the ice cream cones and then you you're supposed to deliver them to the pool and then uh, and then there's one where you have to keep doing tricks and if you don't your head swells up and it keeps getting bigger and bigger until it pops and your head's gone and you fall to the ground. Okay, I think you minute. just this made that Tony up. Hawk, you made right? that up. <laughs> no, I did not make that up. Look it up. No, I. <laughs> Come on, yeah, Tony Hawk Five, man. I, like I said, I I enjoyed Dude. it. Sixty dollars, go fuck yourself. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but like you know, if it would, I I had expected it to be like twenty or thirty dollars. I would have, I'd snag it. I would, I'd pay that money for it. Yeah, um, is it still as broken as it was during launch, or have they updated it? Well, I don't know. I mean, I like I say, I played it a couple days after it came out. And it, it's just the menu itself is cumbersome, but the, the, the way people are complaining about the different ramps and having it not work and stuff, I, I, maybe they just suck at Tony Hawk. Cause no, I was there, there was videos of people like going through the ramps. It was pretty crazy. All right. But I, I, for me, I didn't experience that. I was just, I was throwing yeah. some long, long ass. Maybe it was like a, a day one hurdle that they had to get over. What? Yeah. 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 I want to bag on people. But... Can you I, customize I your game... own character in this game? Yes, but it's sort of lame. But that, you can't that, scan your face work. and put it. In uh, no, I don't think so. Um, and I have the connect, but it, well, for instance, to start with, you only got like three heads. Okay. And you know, and like there's. Don't there's, tell me it's like a black head, a white head, and like a brown head. <laughs> <laughs> it probably is. Yep. Is it yeah, really? Yeah. <laughs> It is, wow. yeah. Wow, okay. I mean, Lil Wayne's in it, you know. For me, I just, uh, I was Tony Hawk, and then I just kind of changed it to the birdhouse outfit and just stick with, stuck with that and just kept going. So, for, Did you pick I the mean, white head? Did you pick the white head? You're racist. I am. Wow. Damn it. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not true. I, I like Mexican food. Yeah, okay, good. Anyways... <laughs> Anyways, 
um, all right. Okay. Okay. I'll add talk, tell us to me about the customization. So can you, can I go in there? Can I, can I put tattoos on my guy? Can I put a watch on his wrist? Can I change his shoes? It, what can I change on the character? It really wasn't that dramatic. I mean, it was it's like the detailed. board. No, it was like, you could have different heads and, and there's like a couple like set outfits and you could change the board. And I think that was about as far as it goes. And when I was playing online, which it's pretty much always online, mm -hmm. you, bit, you you look around and like a bunch of dudes all have the same character and all just ride around with like a bunch of Tony Hawk drones, you know, it's so like, lame. <laughs> yeah. Why, did, why but, did they make a Tony Hawk that, that is an always online game that seems to not make any sense a, to me? Yeah, well, you could do it on your own. You can just go on your own and do your own thing so there's no one in your game. But they don't interfere. I mean, they're just, like, riding around. You're doing your thing. They're doing their thing. But when you go into the little levels, like I was talking about, like knocking all the beach balls out of the pool, that you do that by yourself. There's no one around then. Can you compete against these other people? Uh, yeah, you can, or you can invite people to a party and do it like that. What's the point, but, though? Um, what do you, if you invite them to your party? What what's the point of that? Ah, uh, I don't know. I didn't these, really explore it that far. Yeah, the, it <laughs> so. just seems kind of shoveled in for no reason. I don't know. It's like yeah, it's I would destiny say. skateboarding or something. I think that I think <laughs> the reason they what's your light <laughs> level? Yeah, I just thought destiny wasn't going <laughs> to even be brought up. I was afraid. <laughs> That's for you, destiny. Hook. That's for you, Hook. <laughs> I hate Destiny so much. Oh, Hook's not even here. God. We're still talking about yeah, Destiny. I know. You got, oh, you I know the light, your light level on the chest, and the new gun. You know the. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. Hook, okay, if he was here, he'd be talking Destiny. List? But since he's hiking yeah, the pyramid, so, so you play Tony Hawk. What else have you been playing? Yep. So I played the Rainbow Six Siege beta. You like that? Um, uh, I. I, I never got to do the 5v5. Really? Uh, but I, no. I, I, every time I tried to join uh, a game, it would never even connect up. But I did do the terrorist hunt, and I had a ball. In fact, one night I played till 3. I started at like 10 o'clock, and I played till 3, and I was having a ball. And we got a couple group of guys that kept playing together, and we are like, hey, let's just put it where it's just us. So we started gaming, mm -hmm. and I couldn't get my audio to work, so I was the one guy that they couldn't hear, but man, I had a lot of fun playing that game. I mean, I would imagine after a while I'd get bored, but damn, for a beta, I got my money's worth. I must have paid nothing for it, but I got my money's worth. <laughs> man, I people are saying it's not worth the money, but honestly, I think if you have a group of guys you play with on a regular basis, and you're playing this game how it's meant to be played, it's not going to get old, and and I think it might be worth the, the price tag. But if you're like me and none of your friends are ever online and you you play a lot of solo games, then yeah, it's probably not worth it. I, I mean, I for me, it was just I just joined a group of randoms and man, I just had a ball and going in there, it felt like the first time I felt like a real like soldier. We were all going in with the same idea and you know going up to, to the roof or like, hey, I'm the one that's, I'm gonna throw this on this door and blow this up and I'm gonna go in and start popping people. And sometimes I would die quick because you know, you don't realize those proximity lines that are in there, and you're just you hear it beeping, but you know you don't pay attention. You're just like looking for people to shoot. And next thing, boom, you're dead, and you're watching the rest of the match, and your kids walking in, going, "Daddy, did you die?" And yeah, Daddy died again. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, that's Daddy's C4, man. The struggle is real with that C4. <laughs> I remember playing with a lot of people, and I remember that one night, me and Brink were playing, and. We were playing with Wingman and a few other people. Man, we had a lot of fun, dude. We were playing that terrorist hunt shit. It was good. Yeah. I mean, if you had some more maps, it would be kind of cool if there was a little, like, uh, before it started, each time there was, like, a little story, like a background of what was going on. I mean, not an actual story mode, but just sort of, like, gave it more tension, like with actual hostages or something. That would be sick. But I, I really did enjoy that. Even when you're, you know, sitting there with the guard... You know, popping guard. Oh, God. It Man, was awesome. You know what? Hostage it. Rescue would be perfect for this game. That was a great game mode in Rainbow yeah. Six Vegas, too. Oh, see, there you go. I missed out on that. I would have liked that. 
Okay, so um, so that the next one I played the Need for Speed beta, and um, I'm not going to go onto a Mark style rant, but that game was garbage. I freaking really? I, I realized no I signed it. I realized I signed an NDA when I signed up for the beta because I read it and I'm like, oh shit, I'm not supposed to say anything. But <laughs> I don't know if you because have you guys ever read that when you sign up for a beta? Yeah, yeah, like, that's how it was with the fable, the the fable beta. I'm a, okay. I'm scared to talk about it. I don't wanna I don't wanna get sued for all my wealth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So okay, but, what else you been playing? Yeah, I just, uh, so um. I played a couple of games on the iPad because I was traveling. Um, so speaking of which, Brink, uh, there's a game by Snack Up that was free. Uh, we got uh, some chappy uh, action going, fellas. Uh, we, we got uh, Super Brothers Swords and Sorcery. That came out. Oh no! Who's the one that's giving the choppiness? Am I better? You're cutting out there quite a bit, man. Uh, was it just me? I don't know. Do I sound normal? <laughs> it sounds normal now. Oh, yeah, I was just hearing it on your end there, sir. Okay. Well, it's better now, now, though. Okay. So, um, anyway, it was a game called, an iPad game called Super Brothers Swords and Sorcery. Oh, yeah. I've, I've got that. Yeah. So, I was I was thoroughly enjoying that game. Uh, it reminds me of King's Quest to really throw out my nerdom because I, I don't PC game anymore, but when I was a kid... I freaking love the shit out of King's Quest. This the audio quality click. in that game is awesome, especially if you play. That's a game that you oh. need to play with headphones. It's really headphones. good. Headphones, yes, yes, for sure. That soundtrack is sick. Uh, and I anyway thoroughly enjoyed that game, and I was playing some Pagel. But um, anyway, it's just Star Wars Battlefront. It was also what I was playing. I know we said we we're going to talk more about it, but yeah, I, I got to play it today for the first time. My son had already got two days worth in before I got a chance to even play it. But, and judging uh, by your shirt, you are a the... Star Wars fan. Yeah, pretty nope. much. No? I hate that shit, sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> you just wear the shirt. Just... What? It's like an ironic kind of thing. All right. So is that all you... that's all you've been playing? That's it. All right. What about you, Brink? I uh, played some stuff. I played uh, The Order... Uh... How do you 1886, like game, man? man. How do you do? You have the same love for the order as Jesus does. I do. I good. I actually I am was very and am very pleasantly surprised by this game, coming from a game like Destiny, and and finally breaking my addiction for like the twelfth time. <laughs> a game like the Order, and I know I talk shit about movie games like. Um, like uh, the Walking like, The Walking Dead, all that stuff. But this, shit, yeah. it's it is like you're watching a movie, but you're also playing a game, and the sh the action is really great too. The shooting is is spot on, and I'm just really fascinated by this world and this story. I think it's great, and it's it's so damn pretty, and it, it and it just gets prettier the more I play it, and uh, I'm kind of yeah. blown away by it, to be honest with you. But and that story, the the setting is cool, huh? Like that. That old fucking 1800s. Yeah, man. I love the shit. idea how these guys are knights. They're like knights of the kingdom, but yeah. they're just like, they got their trench coats on, and they're, they're, it's just the whole lore of this game is just badass. I think it's, they should I make just feel that they're actually named after real, or the, the actual knights from the stories, like Galahad. Yeah. And all that. Yeah. That's really cool. Yep. And the, like the technology is really cool. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, it's got your your werewolves and your vampires and all that all that crazy stuff. But uh, it's too bad that that game got such a bad rap because it really was pretty solid. I just think that everyone came into that game expecting it to be the PS4 killer game that was yeah. gonna that was gonna sell the consoles, which they didn't need because the PS4 has obviously been outselling the the Xbox One by quite a good margin, but. I think everyone was just expecting so more because, look, you, to be honest, there is a lot of cutscenes and a lot of time where you are not playing that game. Yes. Uh, you know, there, there's I think one whole chapter where I did not touch the controller at all. There was there was nothing to do, not even any quick time events. It didn't really bother me though too much because I was just really into that world. It's very, 
it's a world that I want more of. Yeah, I want exactly. I want to go back to it. It's just and, uh, because it it's so unique. Well, the, the, what I liked about the fucking game is the world, man. That world, that fucking the werewolves, the vampires, the fucking knights, the eighteen hundreds, all that shit is fucking cool. Which makes me want to play the new Assassin's Creed is going to come out soon. But the way I look at this game is it's basically like Rise. You know how Rise was a very beautiful game. It had cool action. It had cool technology in it. It had like a cool story and everything. The world was cool. But it was very short. And this is the way I look. The order is Rise for the PS4. It, it has beautiful graphics, little gameplay, and a lot of cutscenes. And it's very Yeah, I short. agree, but you got to... Rises has no shooter elements at all. That's very much yeah. a melee melee game. And I think that what they did with the combat in Rise was a little bit more unique to be to be perfectly honest. I think that you think the, so I mean, the, the quick the quick time events like press X Y But there there was a lot more than just quick time events. There was there was actually a lot of parrying and blocking that you had to get used to. There there was a system that was very un- unique for a melee combat game to me that uh don't get me wrong. This isn't me knocking Order 1886. That game is really good, but at the end of the day, it felt very much like just another cover-based shooter, just really well-done cover-based shooter yeah. that was set in an, in a beautiful world. Rise is more challenging for sure. The order, oh, what the order is, is it's a badass movie, and like you're taking breaks in between playing some generic cover-based shooter while mm-hmm. you're watching this badass movie. Right. Um, and I, I did not like those sections where you had to fight the werewolves. Yeah. No, you didn't I like that. I what they called them. There. The, the, I did. The, the once dungeon. I got, once I figured out the trick to it, it was a breeze. But I was getting real frustrated with that at the beginning. Like, what am I supposed to do? There's no, you know, you had to, you had to dodge roll or something was the trick. And... Or use the uh, like force push on that assault rifle. The secondary. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 okay. Yeah, that works very well. I tried that. But uh, it, it, everybody complains about this game being too short. I don't know how far into the game I am. I'm, uh, I've been playing it for probably a, about seven hours. And I, I'm at the part <laughs> where you find the, the cargo of this uh, the shipping company that they're trying to sip, ship across the sea. You, you, you discover what the cargo is. I don't want to say and spoil it for anyone. Is it, okay. is it? Are we past that point where I'm spoiling it? Uh, I don't know. I don't, it came out this a year. PS4 and I haven't seen it. Okay, well, I've never played it. Do you know what I'm talking about, Jesus? Yeah, where you find the cargo and as the and place caught on fire, and you burn it all. Yeah, you burn the place down. That's where I'm at. So, how far into yeah. the game am I? You're pretty close. Uh, let's see. Um, you already have you been on the on the big blimp? Yeah, I've, I've I did all that. You're close to the end, then. Once you pass the blimp, it's kind of like you're close okay. to the end. Okay. Well, that sucks. I don't want it to end, man. I don't want it to Damn end. It. I'm yeah. having a good time. You don't want it to end. Yeah, that game is really good. I, dude, I love that game from the beginning to the end. I just didn't want to stop playing it. That game kept pulling me back in, and I just kept talking about it all those times I played it, man, because it's really a, a good game, and everybody should play it. I know it's 40 bucks still at the store, but rent it or something. Go to Gamefly and rent it. It's really good. And we talk about it being a generic shooter, but there are some unique things to to the shooting elements of this game uh such as the weapons there there's some some creative yeah. weapon designs in this game where you shoot the uh flammable gas and then ignite it and it just that's melts cool. everything like that that's mm-hmm. very cool very uh, effective weapon too what really yeah. pisses me off is when the shotgun guys they come up out of nowhere and just one hit kill me and i start screaming and then <laughs> go outside. I actually started a second playthrough on that game on the hardest difficulty. I want to get back to it. Yeah. Uh, other than that, I played. Uh, man, I've been playing The Witcher three full time, and when I say full time, I mean full time. Like I probably put in forty hours this week. <laughs> Holy crap! I've been playing the, Witcher, the shit out of The Witcher three. And I'm afraid of that game, dude. It's like seems this like game is much. freaking Narnia, dude. When I play this game, it's like I went and walked into my closet and stepped into a different world. Like this, this game is impossible. This game is impossible. <laughs> the amount of depth and the amount of story 
and graphically, everything about this game, I honestly don't understand how they even made it and made it in the time that they did. The more I'm, I think I'm 75 hours in now, and it is the more I play it still at this point, the deeper the story gets, the more interesting it gets, the more I've, I've just am, am, am falling in love with this game, man. It, it's, it's super creative, and every, even the side quests, the side quests alone are super deep each side quest is like a little movie like it yeah it blows my mind man i've never played a game like this before where you actually want to do the side quest because they're they're they put just as much love into these side quests as they have the main quests they're yeah, not they just fetch and like grab quest they, exactly yeah, they, they feel like they feel like their own interwoven story that has slightly something to do with the main story that is genuinely interesting Mm -hmm. it, it, you you would almost not believe you were doing a side quest. I mean, you know, you, the whole main quest is you're trying to be finding um, Yennefer, and but there's this whole like my favorite was the story with the Baron, on the in the second area. Yeah, like there's a whole slew of missions that all have to that center around that character that feel like a complete game. Like back, it, it could have been a complete game just on its own, and that's just a side quest, which is awesome. For sure, man. Th this world is so fleshed out. I, I think this is even more fleshed out than Elder Scrolls games are, to be honest with you. And today I played this mission that literally gave me goosebumps. Uh, you, there's this Jarl of this little village, and he has this this demon attached to him that feeds off of his uh, sorrow and regrets, basically. And this huh. this demon forces him to inflict damage upon himself. And he thinks it's the gods talking to him. And the only way to get rid of this demon is to trick the demon into latching itself onto somebody else by doing something horrible. And this person feels miserable for doing something horrible. And the demon will go over to them because that's just what kind of demon it is. Well, anyway. That's kind of clever. How I had to trick this demon is the person I was with left and came back with a, fr a baby, like a three or four month old baby, and she said, "You have to throw this baby into the fire, into the the oh this the stove, okay?" And you, this is one of these times where it gives you like ten seconds to decide, not even that, maybe five seconds to decide. It's like time left to decide, and the bar starts instantly going down. So I'm like, "Ah, oh, what do I do? What do I do? Throw the baby in the fire." And as soon as I did, I just felt awful, man. Like, I, I couldn't believe I threw this precious little cute baby into the fire, you know? Why did you kill me? <laughs> but, yeah, so the demon, <laughs> the demon latches itself onto me. I tricked the demon, and it ends up being banished or whatever. But I literally had goosebumps, man. It, it, and this is just a side quest. This is just a, a side quest that you might stumble upon. And that's what's special about this game is experiences like that see you, you speak about the witcher man and i want to play this game but it's too much dude too much it too is much. too much i will if anybody is thinking about it it, it i will tell you right now it's too damn much and the only reason <laughs> i've been playing it so much is is to me this game is a challenge and and i accepted the challenge and i will not quit until i've i've completed this game Think about it, you're gonna start another challenge in another month. Next month you're gonna start the challenge of Fallout. <laughs> yeah. On top of the challenge of The Witcher, so that's the, that's the only reason I don't want to buy it or start it. You know, there's you know Fallout coming out. And I still have Metal Gear. And Metal Gear is so huge in itself. Yeah. And can I just yeah, say I this? Yeah, uh, on Metal Gear. This Metal mini Gear. game Gwent. Uh, I don't know if you, have you guys played Gwent. Oh nope. yeah, definitely. I'm addicted to this Gwent, this card game that's within the game of Witcher. It's this very deep card game, and it's super fun. I don't know if they, if somebody has made this in real life by now, but I'm gonna look it up. And if they have, I'm gonna buy a Gwent deck because you're gonna become a professional Gwent player. It, it's just a game within the game, and I'm going <laughs> around just playing Gwent rather than doing the missions I should be doing. It's it, it's crazy. It's so much like, fun. Bring Bring hanging out at the video game store in the back room playing Gwent. You know, no, like I just try. I, I ride my horse from bar to bar, and I challenge all the the bartenders to a game of Gwent. And when they beat me, I get all pissed off and start screaming and stuff. But when you win a game of Gwent, man, it's awesome. 
Quinn this, Vasquez. It's good, man. I'm telling you, it is. It's like it's such a cool card game. I can't believe they just came up with this inside of the you, actual game. Brink, do you do any table or uh, any uh, tabletop gaming like board games? The only game that I guess would relate to that that I've ever played is Munchkin. Okay. I've I Which played a quite a bit game. of Munchkin, and it's a it's a very fun game. But that's about it. If you like that kind of game, you should look into uh, some other ones. There's a game that is one of my all time favorites. It's super popular called Dominion. Mm -hmm. uh, is very is it's it's not quite like Gwent, but it's got that same feel with the cards, and it's just card based game, and it's super fun. Um, and there's another one called Ascension. Ascension is very much like Gwent, but it's that's all it is. You don't have the you know the full Witcher game attached to it yes. at the same time, but yeah, it's Ascension plays almost exactly like Gwent, just with a different set of rules. That uh, and I think there's an i. Do you have an iPhone or a Droid? I have a Windows phone. Windows phone. I'm not sure if it's on Windows. I know it's on it's on iOS and Droid for sure. Look into that because it's a free one as well, and it's it's super fun. Okay, cool. Yeah, I think what I what I loved about Munchkin when I played it is it, it felt like I was playing an RPG video game, but it was a card yep. game. Yeah. I mean, you 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 deck out your character with perks and all that. It was, it's it's like you playing an RPG. It's, yeah, it's very cool. And there's yeah, lots of deception game. involved, and it's very competitive. You just want to punch your buddy in the face when you're playing. It's awesome. Yeah. I could talk about board games or tabletop games with you guys all night. That uh, There's so much fun. I feel like they get a bad rap because everyone... You know, correlates board games with Sorry and Life and Monopoly, and uh, there, there's just so many interesting, clever games out there that are, are a ton of fun to play. I even got my wife playing board games with us, and my my buddies and their wives. We all get together and play these games, and everyone just has a blast. That's good times. And it's not just like, yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, um, and just to end on Witcher, somebody please make this a movie. This would be the coolest movie. I'm already um, working on it. I got a Kickstarter going. I want to read the books. <laughs> uh, I know that this game was based off a, a series of books, and I, I just signed up for a uh, trial on Audible, and I think I'm gonna just go ahead and keep the monthly subscription. I want to see if these books are on Audible, because I would, I would love to listen to these books while I'm at work or commuting or something. Yeah, you know, you know what I like about The Witcher Three. I like how The Witcher 3 has brought a lot of attention, a lot of praise to The Witcher series itself, you know. Because I remember playing The Witcher 2 back on 360 and, and talking to people about The Witcher 2. And everybody would look at me like, what, what the fuck is The Witcher 2? What the fuck is The Witcher? And I'm like, the fucking Witcher, Tell man. Tell freaking like, Narnia, stabbing, man. St stabbing monsters and shit. And this was on 360 and people were like, look at him look stupid. I don't want to play no st stabbing monsters and RPG. I was like, no, man, it has like really good graphics on 360. It was intense. And everybody looked at me like I'm a dumbass. And then now that The Witcher 3 is out on the Xbox One, and everybody's fucking praising it and all this shit. And I'm like, well, at least people know about this game now, you know? People if, did not know about it before. If any well, game has like ever been worth it. $60, it's The Witcher 3. So that's cool, man. And they're, they're constantly updating this game. Constantly. The, they For just free. updated it, I think, yesterday. 600 bug fixes and different uh, additions. They, they're, they're, they're listening to community feedback and making this game better. And yes, for free, like you said. It, yeah. It's amazing. And there, there's DLC that's coming out for it soon. It already came out, I think. Coming soon. There's two different... Coming soon. Uh, when you launch the game, there's two different DLCs that say coming soon. I don't know what, what the dates are. I'm not. I don't care because I'm. St I still have. I know a lot of this game before I finish. The new. The new DLC is being rumored that it's like over twenty something hours long. The story. There's lots of uh, nakedness and sex in this game. So I mean, if you have kids, or your wife walks in at an awkward moment, you just just <laughs> just fair warning. You, you might you get, get caught in a brothel. Yeah, you might get caught having sex on unicorn, and that's a that's an awkward situation. <laughs> well, it depends on which end you go, but yeah, doesn't matter. I uh, <laughs> I picked Triss just for the record. I picked Triss because I didn't feel I never played the previous Witcher game, so I don't feel like I I knew Yennefer. I only met Yennefer right. at the very beginning, but then I spent all this time with Triss, and I was like, you know, I pick you. So I told her I loved her, and then I read up on it. And I, I realized, you know, maybe that wasn't a great decision. And now, I'm, all of a sudden, I'm spending a lot of time with Yennefer. And I'm like, man, I might have screwed up. 
But if you tell them both you love them, then I hear you get a pretty interesting cutscene at the end. So. <laughs> Three way. <laughs> <laughs> or so you're led to believe. Okay. What else have you been playing, Brink? I played the Star Wars Battlefront beta. I played some Rainbow Six Siege beta. Good times. Uh, Star Wars is kind of mixed feelings. I know we're going to get into that here in a minute, so uh, I will go ahead and wait before I further comment on that subject matter. All right, all right, all right. So let's talk about what I've been playing this week. Um, Until Dawn, kind of went back to it, but not really. And then I started The Last of Us. I finished The Last of Us. Most of you guys, you guys have all finished The Last of Us, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Everybody nope. Plays except for me, I'm like, I'm like the I, last I, one. I have played it one time. You never finished it? I've never played it. Period. What? Like I had a, I've owned every video game system, but I never, I didn't have a PS3 when they came out, and I currently do not own a PS4. But I will be playing that game. Yeah, you should remedy that. It's a pretty oh, solid experience. Sure, dude. I have it down. I'm excited. Right. Let's say the last part of the game, I used the flamethrower on those assholes. You know, guys know. <laughs> Spoilers, guys know it's flamethrower. I you used ruined it for me. flamethrower. No, oh, man, okay. okay. And, and, then, and then, you know, I was talking about this Left Behind DLC, so I went ahead and started that, and I'm having a blast with it. Like I gotta say, it's, it's really well done. The way they did it is fucking cool. And I'm having fun with that. Um, besides that... I kind of went back and played a little bit of Mad Max on the Xbox One. That game is just, I don't know, man. I, I loved it so much, and now I feel like I'm, like, I don't know, I guess letting it down. Like, I'm not giving it attention anymore. I'm playing other games. It's like, no, Jesus, go back and finish this game because it's so good. But I always do this. Yeah, I always do this with games, man. I always end up, like, enjoying the game so much. But then new games come out, and I end up ignoring the old ones, and it's like, fuck, it's just, it's insane. It's That's how I felt with uh, with Metal Gear Solid Five. Yeah. I, I got that and played the intro and just was blown away and loved it. And then I got into the game and uh, just felt like there's just so much. I just didn't know <laughs> where, to, where to go. Yeah. And uh, we actually did an episode on my podcast, which you can find at thegamingoutsider.com. Uh, and we talked to, we basically spoiled it. Shameless bug. Yeah, I'm, I'm, it's totally shameless. <laughs> anyway, we, uh, we, uh, we, we spoiled the crap out of the game. I've never, I, I haven't finished it, but I knew I wasn't going to. And I won't ruin anything here, but have any of you guys finished it? No, man. Like, I, I started it. I think I'm the only one besides Brink, besides, I think Rob has played more than I have. But I, I've, all I've been doing is side missions. I haven't even done, like, the main first mission, I think. I think I'm. Oh really? Maybe it did the first one, but I haven't done the second one. Well, I, I've played some of the series in the previous games in the series, and but I, I just knew I wasn't going to get through this game right away, so I went ahead and just participated in the spoiler cast we did on it. And uh, I got to tell you guys, after hearing the way that that game wraps up, I have a deeper appreciation for that game because the way that they tie everything together is is pretty impressive, and and I kind of wish that I had stuck through it and finished it and seen it because it was, it was pretty awesome. So if you are playing it and digging it, stick with it. It's pretty cool. Hmm. You know, I I've, I was reading something earlier. It was an article um, about Metal Gear, actually, and this one that uh, Kojima was talking about in an interview or something, and he said that he had a lot more of the game, actually, to work on. <laughs> And Konami just said, like, fuck no, dude, you're done. You're done. You're going to release this shit this year. We cannot delay it again. And But, like, literally, they had, like, he said minimum 40 more hours to put into that game of fucking just mm. story. But they had to cut or not finish or, you know. So there's there's videos and stuff that he said that they actually made cutscenes and they cut him out of the game. And there's actually, like, big plot holes. And he's like, yeah, he's like, all this. I was like, wow, that must have been crazy, like. Can you imagine? Just if they would have given him all the time in the world to just finish the game how he wanted to do it. It would have been an insane game. I wonder if we're ever going to find out what happened. Yeah, I don't know. He never really spoke about what happened. I'm pretty sure he had to sign some kind of contract or something saying that he wouldn't speak about it, but who knows? Um, but he did say that there's a lot of plot holes in the story. Like, if you kind of, like, there's a lot of missing shit in the game. They said it's because they had to cut a lot of it out. But they had the time to put 
shower technology in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but, but speaking of which, when I heard that you could make a horse poop on demand, I was like, I must own this game. Yeah, like, there's a lot, a lot of things I enjoy on demand, but a horse pooping is definitely at the top of the list. I'll, I'll be a great I'm superpower. Dead serious. <laughs> I drive by a field and I see a field of horses. I'm like, oh, come on. Come You're like on. a wizard, man. Yes. Boom, horse. <laughs> Did yep. you hear about the micro transactions, speaking of which? The um, using real money for insurance for the mother base? Yeah. I heard about that. That's, so, that's, just, that's too much. That's too much. That's super Really? Gross. You're buying insurance that, for your base in a game with real money? Like, th this is no, getting kind of out of hand, I think. <laughs> that wouldn't be nearly as bad if you didn't have to keep buying more insurance. It's just like uh, a regular insurance policy that really? you have to keep buying. It's not like a one-time deal. What, what do you, you buy from Allstate or something? Wait, wait. <laughs> yeah. do your rates go hey, up? Flo. Hey, what are you doing here, Flo? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like, it's like, yeah, so it seems here you've been attacked five times last month. I'm going to have to increase your rate. You get attacked Word too drops, much. Yeah. yeah. An ad pops up. <laughs> Think about to the progressive huh. for your base protecting that these. That is these. crazy, These're man. Um, your insurance to uh, Metal Gear Solid. Everybody <laughs> that. I, I'm just that's that's crazy. I, you know, I heard about it being you know an insurance policy or whatever, but I did not know that it literally was like an insurance policy. You have to pay every month. That is fucking crazy. What the hell are I don't you thinking? Know monthly. I can't remember the time frame, but it, it's it's not like a permanent insurance. It's you got to keep it going. That is fucking crazy. Who the fuck comes up with this shit? Like, you know what, guys? We're going to rent microtransactions. You know what? Let's, let's sell them insurance. Now, that is only on the online portion of it. It's not anything to do with your... But can you imagine GTA Five like Rockstar doing this shit in their fucking game? And you know how they have the online GTA? Like, you know what, guys? We're going to make insurance for the cars, but let's charge people real money. I bet people would do that. People would that, fucking go crazy. People would fucking blow up Rockstar Studios or something. They would well, fucking go the, crazy. I mean, I haven't played GTA Online, but I heard that you know you could you could buy a bunch of stuff and then someone just get, gack you for it and then your stuff's gone. If you had insurance, then you could just is, you know virtually walk into the office or or like a, you know what's that the calling in the <laughs> the insurance company where they drop in and they're like, someone stole my plane. <laughs> I, I, know, I know in the game, in, in GTA Online, I know they have insurance, like in-game insurance for your car. So, like, somebody blows up your car, you uh -huh. can call up the company and your car will be in front of the insurance company, like, all fixed up or whatever. But okay. it actually makes the other player the other player who blew up your car pay for it. Like, they have to pay out of their money to fix your car. Is this is, th awesome. is this the future of gaming right here? I feel like this is, this is sort of a gateway uh, <laughs> you know part of gaming. I mean, what happens... Are, are we going to get ads that say, are you getting pwned in Black Ops by campers? Buy this KDR insurance and be sure that your KDR isn't affected. I mean, what, how far is this going to go? This scares me, man. This scares me. Buy the Spec Ops team that drops in for you and fucking protects you while you're playing the game so why you can't I don't like watch it. Your I don't like this at all. So <laughs> I don't like it. So Captain, Captain Hook was found masturbating on a car. He had to pay to have it cleaned. I, mean, I, I don't know, man. It's fucking crazy. Like he's not even on. He can't defend himself. I don't care. He does <laughs> masturbate on a lot of cars. Okay. So. <laughs> Anyways, but you know what? I think that this might be something that we will see coming up more often this in the is future, bad. especially more games. Uh, virtually every game being online, connected to the online, every system being online. You're gonna see a lot of things like this popping up. There's gonna be ways you're gonna make money, man. And you gotta make money somehow. That's another way to make money. So people insurance for the basis of the game. Oh and tech. There's people that have played so much Metal Gear, and they love Metal Gear so much that the, all they've fucking been playing since Metal Gear came out is Metal Gear. And all they've been doing since day five or whatever after they beat the story is they've been building up their base. There's probably some crazy-ass bases online if you get on there. This I'm all is about bullshit. That this is bullshit. <laughs> no trouble. You think microtransactions <laughs> to get this cute polka dot dress for your character is bad? How about insurance policies? This changes everything. It does. You know what? I found a new job. I'm starting to get pissed off just thinking about it. Bringing insurance you policies for I'm your freaking character in a freaking game, man. Come on. 
you know, you're right. When, when Activision does come out and says, like, you know what, guys? We, we invented a new thing. COD insurance. We're the first people to come up with this shit. <laughs> we're tired of getting years. pwned by noobs. We, we've used, we've, we've researched <laughs> years of insurance policies, and we've come up with the best one. We're going to insure your character now. <laughs> Every time you get killed, we're going to have a deductible you have to pay from your COD points. And How about AAA? Fucking crazy. <laughs> So on GTA, if you're if you're driving, you hit too many things and it starts catching on fire. You can call AAA and have it towed back to your home. And I don't know. It's just fucking weird. It's crazy. Um, who knows? Maybe 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 a lot of people won't buy into this Metal Gear insurance bullshit. Maybe they'll, that, they'll look at it and be like, oh. I want to know how many people have have actually paid for this. I have not that, talked to one. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, that's good. That's very good. I hope people are smarter than this. I mean, so do I. Do it's just a game. If your base gets destroyed, shit. seriously, you, it's um, just a game. Don't buy the friggin' insurance. That doesn't. You, what happens if your base gets destroyed like now, like without the insurance? To like you lose everything. Take a you shower. Lose everything. I don't know. You literally lose box. everything. Like like all your characters are just gone. Like all your like. What if somebody goes in there and just Fultons all your characters out of there? No, no. Like, this is... in there and you're like nobody's here. <sighs> Remember, this is the online portion only. Anything you do in a single-player campaign isn't isn't affected, right? Okay. Oh, this is online only. This is the online. That's portion better, of but the it's still only. bullshit. I mean, because we were talking about it on our show, we're like, "Well, I got my insurance. Just unplug, turn off the Wi-Fi when I'm playing that game." You know? <laughs> Lag switch. <laughs> Go offline. <laughs> System settings offline. I don't know, man. That's just weird. It's That's stupid. Uh, so stupid. I, this is. Gaming is going in a weird and bad direction. It's going in the money making. Unfortunately, direction. it is. Money making direction. Let's man. move on. I'm gonna get mad. Let's move on. Okay. Let's talk about Star hey, Wars, Wars, Wars now, man. The other big game I've been playing is Star Wars. Of course, it came out on the beta, the eighth for all the systems and PCs and all the good shit. All the new systems, the PS4 and the Xbox One. I played it on both the PS4 and the Xbox One. I don't know if you guys have. 720p, baby. I only played I on played the it Xbox. On Xbox. Xbox One. I downloaded it, though. I could, I could turn it on right now on the Scott, PS4. Scott's the only PS4 guy here? Yes. Did you play on the Xbox One? I did not yet um, because, man, when I start building up those levels, I just feel like I'm starting over. I know it's only a beta, but <laughs> I'm <laughs> playing. I just want to... You're going to yeah. start over anyway. Yeah. Yeah, I know. That, that was gonna be my question to you guys. Does any of your progress carry over oh. to the proper game? Like they did that with, with a with the with a Destiny that did that, right? Where you everything carried over. Not in this one. From the beta, no. What is really Good. cool though is if you play with a buddy and he's your partner or whatever, you can use his his things that he's unlocked for your yeah. character. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Imagine that. So, and you can get so just insurance. Go play with me. Just go and play with me on the Xbox, and you have all the cool shit, Scott. You know, just you got all the cool shit. You do not have all the cool shit. Shut up. Yeah, yeah he said. What he got do you have? It. What do you yeah, have? Dude, I unlocked, Tell me I what unlocked you have. everything the first night. Everything. Me, me, and Carbide were playing, dude. We played for like fucking four, five hours straight. The same shit for four hours straight, five hours straight, and that's well, I unlocked everything. Dude, well, not everything. I don't know, man. I, I leveled up all the way, and I unlocked like most of the cards. And the guns. I unlocked all the guns. I, the I think the detonator is cool, but that proximity mine, uh, or the one where you, uh, you hit LBRB and throw it. Yeah. Oh, sick. Supers, man. Game Every game has it. supers now. Have oh. you noticed that? That's the new thing. No, Destiny really supers. Different. Every game. Yeah, but 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 this game is different. You don't have to like be like a Star Wars. It's different. You don't, have, different. To, you don't have to have those things. It's different. You just but, pick it up. Yeah, but here's the difference: is there's you can pick up multiple different supers. That's the only difference. It still has There's Destiny still... supers. Okay, listen. This is not Destiny. This game is different. No, this, no. Um... <laughs> this game, yeah, you know what this is? This is a hollowed out, s scraped out, slimmed down battlefield, dipped in Star Wars goop. That's what this oh, game is. That's what this game is, man. It's it's on the battlefield engine. It feels like battlefield. The shooting's like battlefield. It's just it, it looks not. like Star Wars, and if you like matter. battle, if you're a hardcore Battlefield fan, this game's gonna be kind of mad to you. If you're a hardcore Star Wars fan, you're gonna love this game. 
Yeah. Listen, that I, might be where I come into it because I I don't I didn't really like Battlefield Four, but I love what? this game. Because yeah. yeah, it's Star Wars. It's Star and, Wars, man. And call, yeah. And <laughs> this little, game right? is Battlefield. Trust me when I tell you this is. No, game, okay, man. This so, is Battlefield. So I, I played this game and I played the drop pod, which is fucking cool. You know, there's 16 players. You know, there's little drop pods drop from the sky. You know, and actually before you know how there's like a timer on each pod and the next one's gonna drop. You can actually look up at the sky to know where the fuck the next pod is gonna drop and just start running towards where the fuck it's headed. So you don't have to wait for the stupid thing to pop up on your screen. Like, oh, go this way. That's cheating. Um, on the PS4, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, man. This game looks slightly better on the PS4. Than this slightly. Game. I know it are, looks significantly dude, better. Okay. People are telling me. I know. I know. Right now, people are like turning off the fucking podcast. Whatever. Fuck you guys. But hey. You cannot sit there and tell me that it looks just as good on the Xbox One than it does on the PS4 because of the 200Ps. But it's 200Ps, man. They make the game somehow, some fucking magical way. I don't know, my eyes, maybe I have robot eyes like I am's. But they, the, game's look, the game looks a little bit more blurry on the that, Xbox you, One, just a little bit. It sounds like a small amount of Ps, but the actual percentage... It, the actual percentage of pixels on the screen is like 150 percent more, some crazy number. I don't know the exact number, but it's it's it, it's it just, significant. It just looks more a little bit slightly less better on the Xbox One. But that being said, I had more fun playing it on the Xbox One than I did on PS4. Because on PS4, there's like nobody. Like I try to invite people, nobody ever fucking accepts invites on that shit. So I, I see playing. your con. I see your controversial comment about uh, looking better on PS4, and I raise you one because I was at my brother-in-law's house today, and he was showing me the PC what? version. Ooh. And I'm not a I'm not a PC gamer at all. I know Iams is on this show, guys. The PC version looks freaking incredible. I bet. It's it's it's, it's like night and day, guys. I can't even. I remember Iams I Iams telling me that on the P PC version he was playing on a fourteen hundred fourteen forty P I think. And he was telling me that it looks like a fucking real life. He's like, dude, it looks fucking realistic. He's like, I can't he's like I can't tell you guys how good it looks. He's like, look at the screenshots and he took screenshots, put them up on the Facebook group and it looks really nice. Yeah, but seeing it in motion is is different bet, than seeing it in the screenshot yeah, because the detail on the on the ground just it's it's insane. It it's it's making me think about wanting to switch to the dark side. No pun intended. Well, <laughs> gaming on a PC. Oh, I just boy. want to say I've only played this game on started. the Xbox One, and it looks good on the Xbox One. I, okay. I mean, I don't know what I'm missing out on. Ignorance is bliss, I guess. Looks good. It's it looks good enough for me on the Xbox One. I'm gonna play it on my That's... PS4 soon, and maybe I will not want to play it on the Xbox One anymore. I don't know. But I wouldn't worry about it if you just have an Xbox One. I wouldn't worry about it. It looks good. Oh, it plays no, the same. I, I read uh, Digital Foundry did some YouTube videos, and because that's what they do, they they dissect <laughs> games and tear them apart. And they said that all the versions have the same graphical effects, the same shadow quality, texture quality. They, basically, the only difference is the resolution. You know, that's the one thing I did notice. Get out of here. One thing I did notice is that the textures on the Xbox One, sometimes they didn't fill in when I was playing. Hmm. It would take, it would kind of hesitate and then fill in. You like a pop was, in? Yeah, that was kind of what I, that was the one thing I did notice. But as far as smoothness and gameplay, none of the hesitation caused a problem. I can't blame it on the fact that I'm 13 out of 20. But, <laughs> you know, but I. Still, I love playing this game so goddamn much. When you're going around in an ad ad or an ATST, I have, I don't know about you guys. Have you managed to get the the actual, you know, power up so you can fly a Tie Fighter or an yep. X Wing or actually, I, for some reason I haven't gotten one of those. The other Me day, either. When I was playing so much of this game, I used the Tie Fighter. I used the X Wing. I used um, the A Wing. I used some other fucking plane. I used the fucking the ATAT, the ATST. Yeah, the fucking pogo stick and the fire. I've used fucking. Ah. I used I used Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker. Luke Skywalker looks fucking like Peter Pan. What the <laughs> he fuck does, is he man. wearing? He's like clicking the his heels he together wearing? and twinkle toes and everything. <laughs> what the fuck his, is his spandex? What the fuck is he's got yoga Skywalker pants on? Spandex, he's just some, yeah, he has like yeah. some yoga pants on. And he's like out the room, like jumping up, like ten feet in the air, just running and shit. Like what the fuck are you doing? I wanted to know, know too, with those two character characters, what happens with those? Because they don't seem to die. 
Number one, they're they're super resilient. So they, they're a long. It takes a long time to bring them down. They but even the when you do bring them down, they don't die. They just kind of like they kneel down. They crouch kneel down, down. And, and crouch down. And okay, then so when you pick up a power up, so the the hero power ups, they're just randomly in the map. So you'll be walking around and you see like a little thing. It looks like a like a lightsaber. Random, just saying. And um, you pick it up and it'll be like, okay, you have a hero power up, and then you click on it. You know, use your 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 L one. R1, LB, RB, or whatever, and um, it'll show like a little, like a little screen. It'll show Darth Vader, and it'll be like, okay, you can use these three different powers, like Force Choke, you know, some of your lightsaber. Push, yeah, throw your lightsaber and something else, and um, it'll like then the music will play, you know, the music for Star Wars, and it'll play, and then you, then you, yeah, and then you spawn in. Uh, but the thing is, you have 100% health when you spawn in, but it's going down very slowly. So it's actually like a time thing. You don't have like, you don't have him until he dies. You have him for like a time. So your health is oh, going little okay. by little. So that's why you have to run and just try to fuck up as many people as you can because eventually you're gonna die just if you just stand there and try to be like a camper. You're gonna die with, with by using them, and you just have to run. And they are pretty resilient to the bullets. They don't take a lot of damage from like the enemies, but I've seen in a few matches Darth Vader get fucked up. I mean he tried to run into one of our groups where we were just all in there and we killed him pretty fast see I, I never got to be one of those characters but I I came across other people that did yeah. and I just followed them yeah and I mean it's awesome. yeah, it, it pretty was, cool because everybody cool. everybody does run away from them like the other day I was, when I was playing I, was, I played as Luke Skywalker and there was like 10 stormtroopers running towards one of my objectives you know trying to kill all my guys and I ran at them, and it was funny just watching them all just trying to get away from me, back, you know, way, like, as I'm just fucking slicing them up, they're just trying to get away from me, and, um, and yeah, and if you, I don't know how to do it, but I've seen people able to, like, reflect the, the fucking bullets from the fucking guns with their lightsaber. I don't know how you what do it, What kind of guns? Though. The fucking laser gun shits. <laughs> pew, pew, pew. Yeah, the pew, pew, pew. stormtroopers are shooting at you, and you're just hitting this shit with the lightsaber, like, Fucking, like, no, you ain't gonna hit me. I've seen people do that, like, super crazy, and I don't know how to do it. I don't know if you, like, mash the trigger button or something. You just press all the buttons as fast as you can. I think so, man. Because... Obviously. And, yeah, just playing as, as Luke Skywalker, I took down one of the ATSTs and I fucking sliced his legs off and took him out. You can fuck up some things when you're the heroes. They're called heroes. Did, did you guys see the video that somebody posted on YouTube today? I posted it on our on our group where uh, someone is is watching Luke Skywalker from across the map, and they're playing the theme song in the background, the Star Wars theme, and he's just jumping around and spin jumping, <laughs> blah blah blah, and he comes after this guy, and then just all out of nowhere he just gets stomped on by an ATAT's yeah. foot, and they do the <laughs> record scratch like, <laughs> and it, was, yeah, and it was just really funny. Yeah, he he. He comes at him from a, all the way across the map, like two miles away, man. Mm -hmm. He's like, oh, you're so dead. I'm loot. You're going down. And then right when he gets up like 10 feet away, bam, just gets stepped on. Done. Wow. It was almost like he lured him over there for that to happen. It was super fun. It was perfect. <laughs> what, it was the gum under the ad ad's foot. What I wanted to do, though, ask, ask Luke Skywalker, ask Darth Vader, is fight the other fucking Jedi. I was like, man, I wish like we could both spawn in at the same time. And just fucking run up to the middle and just meet each other and see what the fuck happens when you actually fight another Jedi. Like, if it actually oh, wait to fight them. Wait for the full game. I'll bet you that'll be available. Yeah, I want to do that. I, wanna, I, I want to Boba I want a map where it's just a bunch of Jedis fighting each other. That'd okay, cool. here is my question. How can you possibly say you love this game, but yet you didn't like Battlefield 4? Because this yeah. game is Battlefield 4, but with, instead of... 50 different loadout options, you have five. <laughs> five Instead of this super huge detailed map, you have this fairly small flat map oh, with some holes oh, in it, oh, like a, oh, the moon oh, crater. Oh, oh, oh. Instead of flying this uh, X-Wing, instead of flying an X-Wing, or you are flying an X-Wing instead of a jet fighter. Except for in Battlefield, you you have the helicopters, multiple different helicopters, different multiple different jets. You have bombers. You have multiple different aer aerial vehicles you could fly. So what what's so special? How can you possibly like this but not like Battlefield 4? I don't understand. Do you like the fact what that it's it? so much simpler? Or is it is just the fact that it's Star Wars? 
Is it was that enough is for third you? Third person view in in Battlefield Four. What do you need mm. the third person view for? I mean, there's a third person view asking. when you're when you're in vehicles. Um, I think I um. Let, let's just say I have EA access. I haven't signed up for it yet because I was hesi- I was waiting until Battlefield Hardline came out, and I fully intend on downloading Battlefield Four and playing it. And when I played Battlefield Four, I was a Call of Duty guy. And compared the two, and I just I didn't like it at the time. I mean, not enough to own, but I just I didn't care for it. I can't really explain it. Maybe it was because I wasn't very good. Maybe. I mean, I'm a lot better at it now uh, with first person shooters, you know. But because I, you know, for a while there, I was a single player only, never play multiplayer, never play anything. You know, so it was just single player, play the story, that's it. So now I now I get in there and mix it up, and, you know, sometimes you, you die at S-ton, but, you know, I, I have fun playing it. Yeah. But I think I Shadow asked, Game Beanie said it best in the chat right there. He just said, Star Wars, bro. Yeah, well, yeah. exactly. I mean, here's the thing. Do people realize, <laughs> all right, let's say yeah. Battlefield 4 is this Escalade on dubs with this badass system, just bumping, rolling slow down the road, whatever, Got the uh, airbags and all that stuff. Hydraulics. <laughs> and uh, they took that. They stripped it bare, man. They <laughs> hollowed it out. They took the dubs off. They put some, like, Honda wheels on there. And they Stop. all they did, they scrubbed all the paint off, and they just wrote Star Wars on the side. Hold and on. all of a sudden, it's, it's, it's better. Man. All of a sudden, it's better than that Escalade ever was, just because it says Star Wars on the side. How does that make any nah. sense? Star Wars, bro. Star Wars, bro. Okay. I mean, really? Is Star Wars that cool? I mean, I, I like Star Wars as much as anyone, but come on, dude. Did, did you play did the you? other Battlefronts? Did you play Battlefront or Battlefront 2? No. Okay, okay. so. Okay, See, I mean, okay so what? Battlefield so 4 what? to this. It I is mean, Battlefield 4, but. It, it's okay, on the well, Battlefield 4 engine. It feels the same. It, it No, it's on the engine. They used all the, the same. The, uh, what should we call? It? They said they they used a new engine, didn't they? Or? No, it's not. It's they... Frostbite. It's the same engine. Okay. It feels like Battlefield. It looks like Battlefield. It's just not as much as Battlefield. See, for me, I've never played Battlefield except for a little bit of the campaign for Battlefield Four. So this is like a completely new experience for me. So a guy like me that doesn't get into multiplayer games that much, Star Wars brought me into this into this game. Okay. I probably wouldn't have played it if it weren't for Star Wars. Okay. So yeah. you got that. I don't know how many of me are I mean, out I, there, but yeah. I was. A, I'm a hardcore Battlefront. You know, I, I played Battlefront on the original Xbox. Played the hell out of that. Didn't really care for Battlefront two, but you know, it still was pretty fun. My son actually loves the original Battlefront. You know, that's his favorite. But um, I think it's. I think it's great. It was exactly what I was looking for. I can't wait for the rest of the modes to come in and the customization stuff to to kick in. But I, I wasn't, you know, I was hyped up about it, and I didn't, you know, I wasn't sure if it was going to live up to my expectations because I was, I was turned up. I mean, I can't, I worked all, I, I woke up at 5 in the morning after going to Disneyland the day before, worked all damn day, flew home from Anaheim to here, to Sacramento, and the first thing I wanted to do was play Star Wars Battlefront, and it lived up to the hype. I absolutely love the L out of this game. I think it's going to be like Titanfall. I think it's there's a bunch of hype, and it's going to be all the rage for like a month, and then it's just going to disappear. One, one thing I got to do say, though, Faye, Faye's in here in the chat, and she brought it up, you know, playing as the Rebels in the Hoth map, defending against those fucking walkers is nearly yeah. impossible to win. Me and uh, I was playing with Gunny Chiefs the other day, we got the walker down to, like, literally, we had one walker left. The motherfucker was coming at us. We had him down to, like, the last little sliver of health. We were all attacking him, and the fucking cutscene started where they blew up our thing. And yeah. I was so mad. I was like, and never, ever since that, we, me and Carbide were playing for hours. We played for a lot of, long time, and it's nearly impossible to win. You cannot win if you're on the Rebel side. You can't. You can't. Yeah. Maybe that's why I'm salty, because I've only ever been on that side. I've never actually been play, the team with the walkers. 
Yeah, if you oh, play on the Empire nice. side, you know, and you're over there, you're the ones attacking. It's so much easier, dude. You have like all yes. these power ups and attacks you can use, and it's just, just fuck everybody up. Me with a Nerf fun. gun against these giant friggin' walkers, man. It's crazy. Yeah, and, and um, I don't know, man. I don't know, Brig. You say it's, it's like Battlefield, and you know, in some it's way, it's not like it is bad. Battlefield, but just no, hollowed man, but out. It's different, dude. I don't it's know. How, I like how is it this different? Game. It's the same shit. I like this game, like. Like like, like like Jeremy was saying, did I played the other Star Wars Battlefront, and I love those games on the original Xbox, and I played so much of the original Battlefront, dude, like so much. I played that fucking game hours, 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 and just playing this one, it brings me back to that. It brings me back to the Star Wars. I've been wanting a Battlefront for such a long time, and, okay. well, and maybe it's the excitement, maybe it's the, maybe it's the Star Wars fan in me, but. I really like this game. You're all suckers. You're all suckers. Not, they this took this. Not, you know, oh, they dude. spent no money on this game. They took Battlefield. Well, the they took no, Battlefield and they reskinned it in Star Wars, and you all love it. You're all suckers. Play Battlefield. You're going to get your money's worth. This game, you're not. Okay? You're all suckers. Have fun. No, you're fish. How the fuck do you not know <laughs> money's worth of this game when you haven't even fucking. Because. They use because you keep losing. Go play on the fucking Cause, other side and you'll win and you'll like it. I've, I've you'll won. Like it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, but no, I, I mean, do you even play? Do you play first person shooters on a regular? Or? Yeah, that's but like, that's my jam, play. dude. That's I, I, that's what got me into gaming is first person shooters. But, I'm going to disagree with you, man. You, This is not. Battlefield 4. This is fucking Star Wars Battlefront. Yeah, okay, that exactly. Star Wars, man. Woo! Take my top Sif. off. <laughs> I'll give you all my money. No, it plays similar to Battlefield 4. And it controls a lot like it, but it's different, dude. It's not the same, man. Um, There's the jet. One thing I don't like I'll about this game, that. though, is I think Star Wars won't have any customization of weapons, so you're just going to use like the standard blasters they give you in the game so you're going to be able to unlock different ones with different scopes different abilities different damage etc but i don't think you'll be able to actually customize the the blasters from what i see um that's kind of shitty about it but i guess sticking to what battlefront is or where star wars is you know you have yeah. the fucking blasters it's, That'd be weird putting some custom scope or skin on a, on a Star Wars blaster. I'd be like, what the fuck? <laughs> Fucking iron <laughs> blasters. Yeah, so I, I don't know, Brink. I, I think hey. I think it'll be worth the 60 bucks, man. I think they're really... But uh, I can't help but think when I was playing it the other day on the Xbox One, it's thinking how much did DICE get rushed to put this game out to meet the... to kind of meet the release date before the movie... It's been developed for for like three years. I was gonna say, I remember yeah. the first time it got announced. It's been like I, I still have a feeling like they could have done more. It doesn't feel right. They could have done uh, more. They could. Like, there could be a single just player campaign. A snapshot. It's the ridiculous vehicles, that it's, it's multiplayer the only. Way, the way you control the vehicles, Nasty. the way you unlock vehicles, <clears throat> or the way you get them to use them, like those power ups. I think they kind of just threw that in there, like just go. Okay, you know what? But that's okay. the way it was in the original games. You don't remember? We had vehicles to this or whatever you know what we can make him spawn on each side of the map or we can just throw him in there just throw him in there there was never a single quit. player campaign on the uh, on the other games either so on the original star wars battlefront and star wars battlefront why couldn't they do there one was for no this single one? player mission huh why couldn't they make one for this one i mean all they had to but do why would they i mean it would just sort of be you know how would it detract from the experience mission? in any way how would it detract from it I don't know why it needs it. I mean, it's got single player and co-op missions for for uh, couch co-op without having to go online. That's because what there's you no need. story you whatsoever, you don't need a story and that's what Star Wars is all about: see, is the story. That's yeah, why exactly. we love Star well, Wars. But we know the story. What what's what story would it tell you? We want more. You're living the story. We've had the same story yeah. for, you know. Four decades. We want. We want some more story. <laughs> there's six movies and another one coming out this year. There, you're gonna get more story. And there's other movies coming out even beyond that. Well, then you I might just... as well just play Battlefield, man. It's the same thing, but you get more. <laughs> I will play Battlefield. I will. I promise. I gotta say though, there are some things about this game that I do not like. Gameplay wise, the turrets suck ass. You don't can zoom in with them very far. Um, yep. Those fucking suck. And the every, map, no, go ahead. 
I don't know, man. The map, it's, it's cool when there's a lot of shit going on, but I feel like there's not enough players in the map. 40 players doesn't seem like enough players. I would 40 think... players doesn't seem like enough? No, man. I, I want it to be 60 players on the map. You know what? Because there's 40 oh, yeah. players, but 37 of them are all just sitting up on top of the hill waiting yeah, for you to spawn so it's they can the, shoot you across the damn map. There are some, some scopes on some of those rifles that you can shoot people from really far away pretty accurately, man. There's no bullet uh, drop. No. Lasers. None. Yeah, it's lasers. So Future I wanted lasers. to ask you about that, Brink, because I saw your, your your post in your Facebook group about how your experience with the Battlefield beta was just an explosion <laughs> because you've been hit by campers. That was awesome. <laughs> so I, funny. I have, I have yet to experience that. I, I feel like whenever I spawn, I'm just, like, immediately moving. I've, I've not... Yet run into any campers like that? Are, um, are you are you are you just like hanging out in the back there when you spawn or what? No, I I've been playing with a, a buddy of mine and we spawn on each other. And you when you spawn on your partner, that's what I usually select, and I just insta die every time. Yeah, which you can change. Well, that's you can spawn on your. Partner I could spawn at the you... base, but I don't want to spawn at the base and then yeah, run yeah. run half a mile just to get shot in the back, you know, and so. That's that's been my experience. I just spawn, die, spawn, die, spawn, die, spawn, yeah. die, spawn a Thermal base, damage. run half a mile, die, spawn a base, spawn, run half a mile, die. I never spawn on a partner. I always and, spawn back at the base. And it's always just dudes sitting up on the hills, every time. There's a dude three miles away sitting up on a hill. He just shoots me with so his pea shooter. Is this on the drop or is this on the forty player map? Uh, I don't know. What do you mean? On the drop. Well, there's the... two modes. Well, there's two modes. There's like the forty player map. Which is on Hoth, and then there's the uh, the other map, which is the one for the new Star Wars. We did a bit of uh, both. Okay. Both the game modes. You, you found you found the experience the same. Pretty much, yeah. With some camping. Okay. I think it, it might just do with like time of day too, and you know some, some tools getting in there and. Maybe and I'm just terrible. Time. I don't know. I might just well, be terrible. Oh, I'm man. pretty good at Battlefield. No, I, got, uh, I got killed a lot of times, so. I just, but I, I guess I'm just a fool. I keep. It was just. A, it was, like, I'm gonna go back in there. It was Ooh. just a blur of spawning and getting shot in the back. That's all it was for me. And maybe that's why I'm so salty yeah, and bitching sucks. about it. I'm yeah. ready to admit that. <laughs> but did you, uh, did you actually do the, uh, the co-op or the single player? Like, I mission? tried like the horde mode. Yeah, the very. Limited horde mode. Yeah, it takes like 10 I, minutes uh, to get through. Yeah. Yeah. It was kind of fun. That's, I liked that's it. Gonna... I liked that I had a little more time to think and strategize. I wasn't just yeah. spawning and dying. So well, they I even there mentioned multiplayer that... in that. There, there is. It's, it's, it, you can do online co-op. Okay. Then that's yeah. a lot better because like, one of my favorite things to do back in the Gears of War 2 days was the horde mode they had there where you could play with your buddies. Yeah. I, I enjoyed that more than the oh, multiplayer where great. you're fighting against each other. Yeah. So much fun, like teamwork, and I want more of that. That'd be awesome. Well, they they even mentioned that it's gonna have uh, if you if you read it, it says it's you know it was six in the beta, but it's gonna be twelve in the full game, and that it's gonna have a lot more variety than it has in the beta. Only twelve? Yeah, twelve. That seems that seems small. Well, I, I think it's just supposed to give you like a little snapshot on it. You know what I mean? Just like a something where you can play with your friends and play over again, and then they're gonna have more than one map and. You know that kind of thing. Well, like in Gears, there was there was a um, horde mode that had like fifty levels. But if you look I at the, to... yeah, sorry, I'm gonna step on you. Go ahead. No, 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 you're fine. I I, I remember playing Gears two, and we, there were like fifty levels to get through. We we sat down and would try to do it all in one sitting, just because it was so much fun to just try to see if we can get there. Try yeah. one more time. Oh, we missed we missed forty seven. Let's do that one again and keep going and going and going. And yeah. we got increasingly harder and. That number 50 seems a lot more satisfying to accomplish than 12. Well, like Titanfall had like, um, if in their mode, which I'm, I'm blanking on the name of it, but it has like, you know, five or six Frontier waves. Defense? Frontier Defense, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it has like five or six waves. But, um, and it was perfect for me because uh, a lot of times, I, I mean, I don't know, I'm a dad and I, I game at night, so I don't have a ton of time to, game, you know, dedicate. You know, I'm playing from like 10 to 1. And so it just gives you, like, that good taste of it without it being, like, too long. You know, if I was sitting there with a 50-stage, you know, horde mode, it'd just be, like, too a little too much. That's probably why they're doing it for the masses a little bit. Does anybody know how many maps this game is going to launch with? Is it 10? Mm. Be 
I had heard the number eight, but I have no idea how accurate that is. I will it shows them on the screen when you when you load up the game. It shows the different maps. They're just locked. Yeah, there's a lot of lock stuff for sure. I well, hope yeah, it's a shitload. Know. It needs yeah. to be a shitload. There will be a shitload. I think there might there might be some we have to pay for. And I don't normally do that, but I can Buy insurance. You I will be doing Buy insurance that. So it's, for it's your, uh, have, <laughs> I, I like your lightsaber that. insurance. You got to have that. Ewoks got blown up. It I'm actually... Ewoks. It's going to have 12 good. maps on launch. 12? 12 maps. 12 maps good. between what? Three game modes? Four game modes? No, there's multiple game modes. Yeah, there's multiple game modes. Yeah. Is uh, there? Yeah, there. Is like there? Air defense... <laughs> Is there? I don't know how many are Air superiority. Fields. There's conquest. <laughs> no, you're thinking of battlefield man. <laughs> <laughs> Obliteration. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> okay. What are the things called with the two legs, like the mechs with the two legs? The Titans. What are those called? ATSTs. ATST. All right. When you get in an ATST, you get lucky. You get the little coin. Whatever. How how soon is it before you're just being barraged by bazooka missiles? Mm, it takes hard. a little while yeah. because I, mean, you're, you're, I feel like every one. time I run into one, all I got is like my my Nerf gun, man, and so I'm shooting at them. So I'm just wondering how balanced is it? I mean, when you get in one of those, are you just OP? You're just rampaging on everyone, no, or do you no, feel no, like no. you're vulnerable? You're bur- you're vulnerable because you're a big target. Dude. Everybody everybody's looking at you when you when you're running up there in that fucking thing. Everybody notices you, so everybody's kind of either focusing the fire on you if they're not immediately surrounded by an enemy. Um, so, yeah. I usually take out about six to eight people with one before I'm dead, and uh, and it's hard to see players because you're, you're up in an ATST, and your view is like the guys you're, you're going against are this small, and you're just kind of like hoping that when you're targeting, you, you get like your red target, you, know, you see the red and shoot. A lot of times you're just shooting, just in general. You're like, well, maybe there's some over there. Take that, Rebels, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully there's but a lot you guys of... Know what, you guys know what this beta makes me want more than anything? B- Battlefield I, Five. I, no. <laughs> I, want, I want another Rogue Squadron game. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Next-gen console, because... I have been trying. I've been playing this for hours and hours, trying so bad to get into a vehicle, and I still have yet to get into a vehicle. And that makes me so mad because that's all I want to do is fly next. I, I gotta tell you though, Scott, when you get into a vehicle, these are default Battlefield fucking jet controls that I hate. The fucking shit where you have to fucking pitch and yell on one joystick. That shit's you annoying. Suck, I had man. to change it up. I had to change get it, dude. Good. I changed it south, get south good, Paul, dude. Southpaw. That's the only way to go. <laughs> it sticks. I miss Shadow of the Empire. Oh, I love that game. Oh, I played the shit out of that game. So did I, man. Oh, I read the guys. books. All those games have become Oh, I read the book, too. The book was amazing. Oh, yeah, all right. Dash Rendar. You guys need to have a separate nerd. podcast about this. Nerds. Fucking nerds. But you know what? I, I mean, I saw Faye blowing up about the PC. I, I can I can tell you right now I, I don't want to go on a big long rant, but I will never game on a PC. Whoa! I, if, if never. Consoles How die, dare you? Consoles never. Are, you? You're basically gaming on a PC when you turn on your Xbox One. Can okay, you yeah. All right, right. I understand that, but listen, hold on, hold on. So if if all <laughs> if consoles were gone, I would game on a PC, but I would game on like one that was basically probably you know like an Xbox One. An Alienware just, Alpha. If, I, but I will never game on a PC, and the, the very reason is the fact that when I when a game, new game comes out, I don't have to think, does my video card support it? Does my memory card support it? Does my processor support it? Do I have enough cooling fans to operate this fucking thing? Do, yeah, is my HDMI my cable go not location? gold enough? Yeah. <laughs> am, I, are my, am I family not going to be able to buy a new car because I need to buy another memory card for my sure. fucking computer? That's why you Whereas don't if have I buy an you. Xbox One... I'm good for probably 10 years, or PS4, I'm good for 10 years until the next one comes out. And I it. spent my entire childhood not being able to go anywhere because my stepdad would buy a computer, and and you know, and buy it, and if there's a new game that came out and he, he couldn't use it, he'd throw it across the room and break it, and then he had to buy another one. So I, I promised myself as soon as uh, the PlayStation came out, I said, never will game on a PC in my life, 
period. I might even just give up gaming if, if I had to. Rant over. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not as anti PC as you are. Uh, I, I prefer to play on console for the reasons that you're that you're talking about. Yeah. I like buying an Xbox One game or a PS4 game and knowing that I can get home and play it and not have to worry about it. But uh, it is hard to argue about the quality of games yes. on PC versus ber- versus console. Uh, yeah. I mean, I've seen too many games that just look so much prettier and gorgeous and and but at the same time, I'm horrible with a mouse and keyboard. I, I can't I can't play shooters well with a mouse and keyboard. And I'm on a Mac, and it's a lot harder to map a, an Xbox One controller to a to a Mac than it is a Windows PC or a, or a so. I've got that going for me, but I'm plus I'm addicted to achievement points, so that doesn't help either. If I can play it on Xbox One, I'm going to play it there because I want to boost my score. Yeah. yeah. I don't know, man. I don't have the hate towards PC. I mean, I always talk shit about PC players, but, you know, much love to them. They get some pretty cool shit. They got pretty cool deals. I'm Their jealous. Prices. I'm jealous of those game prices, man. Yeah, oh, seriously. Sucks. They pay like no joke. 20 bucks for a fucking game we pay 60 bucks for, and their game looks a million times better than ours, and it runs better than ours. So well, I am yeah. is always posting in your group about, like, hey, this game that doesn't come out for two months is on sale <laughs> for 35 bucks. Yeah, like Star it's Wars like... Battlefront. You could, you could go and buy that shit on PC for, like, 35 bucks or something. Like, mm-hmm. how the fuck do you come up with this? It's just, it's just weird. Uh, but I'm, I'm with you. I think I, I don't have as much against PC gaming as I do against PC gamers, present company excluded, of course. Yeah. But I feel like people that are... In that, and we, we I, I almost don't like to use the phrase PC Master Race, but people that look down <laughs> on console gamers yeah, for, for preferring to have a console, I just prefer to play on a console, man. You know, the, to me, the presentation isn't as important as my comfort zone and yeah. showing getting something that, that, that I... feeling like I earned something, and for me, that's the achievements. I want to yeah. sit on my couch. I want to sit and, and earn my achievements. I don't want to be hunkered over my PC while I'm playing the game. That's that's not comfortable. Doesn't to me. Steam have achievements it, now? Yeah, it does. It it does have achievements, but like like Scott is saying, man, you know, you you get so used to just popping in a disc on your system. Well, nowadays it's launching. Yeah, digital I own eight games. discs. I own one disc. La- launching digital games on your system, and it's so easy. You don't have to worry about none of that other shit. Sometimes just, not having you know. excessive options is a good thing. Yeah. Sometimes. I don't yeah. know. I don't know. <laughs> uh, you, you know, yeah. especially, uh, with, you know, there's I have a problem with current systems, you know, the PS4 and the Xbox One. I buy so many games that I never even play, or I'll play for five minutes. I'm looking at you, fucking all these kill zones and shit I have over here. I'm, I buy these games and I never play them, or I'll play them, like, for a few minutes and then just never touch them again. You know, I, I could not imagine myself with a gaming PC, man. I would fucking... I see I was buying all these games. He does the same thing I do. He'll just buy games because they're on sale. Yeah. And then he never, ever plays them. He's like, hey, guys, I found a great sale today on, on all the Batman games. They're all for, for three bucks. I bought them all. And then, like, okay, I was really going to play that. I don't know, but I just bought all the Batman <laughs> games. So, like, he does that all the time. He's always messaging us. Look at this screenshot the of how pretty it is. Now I'm yeah. watching. Now I'm watching Vampire Diaries. <laughs> yeah, he'll be playing like Bioshock, and then five seconds later, he's like, "Oh, I'm watching Z Nation." It's like, "Whoa, <laughs> what the fuck?" <laughs> <laughs> he does that all the time, and it's it's. I don't know. That's that'll be a big problem for me if I get into PC gaming, man. It's just all those sales and shit. <sighs> does do the sales prices on the games counterbalance the cost that it takes to keep the hardware up to date? I don't, I don't know, man. I guess that's a good question for Faye. She's on the chat right now. What was the question? It was, it was, my you know, my question is, is the cheaper price of the games or the software that we get with all these sales, does that counterbalance the cost of hardware that it takes to keep up with, with the PC gaming? Well, if you only have to mm-hmm. buy a new video card or whatever every couple of years, I mean, and you're buying games for 20 30 bucks. That's a lot of games. That's a or lot of money like, saved in a couple of years. Like you know, fucking twenty games for like a dollar. But that's also a lot of a lot more work you're doing. 
So I get it's it's kind of a trade off. Yeah, and driver. It's, it's, some people like doing that part. stuff. Some people like well, exactly. tearing apart their equipment and adding new things to it and all it's modifying. It's like owning it. one of these. Yeah. You own a Volkswagen Bug yeah. and you have yeah, to work exactly. on it every yeah. time you drive it. You know? People like tuning it's their like cars. A... It's 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 all just what you're into. You know, it's not for everyone. With that being said, you can basically it goes this way: you want a game but you don't know what to buy, right? So you can buy something that you can upgrade and, and tweak and tune and do whatever the fuck you want to it every so often and make it as as good as you want to make it. That's for, that's PC route. If you want something that you just turn on and put a game in and you just play what you get, get a system. Yeah. Gaming for morons. That's all it that's is. For me. I, for me, I just don't have the time, you know? When I get yeah, when I exactly. boot up my laptop to get on Skype, if I have an update or something, I get genuinely pissed off. I, I just don't want to <laughs> yep. wait five minutes for it to update, you know. And it, it's it's, it's like, like I already have so much to deal with, and that my console is kind of just it's it's everything just works, you know, whatever. Yep. So I have a question. So for Christmas, um, like I mentioned, Xbox One gamer, love my Xbox. And as I before the show started, I said if I had to choose between Xbox One, PS4, didn't matter if the PS4 looked better. First of all, I hate the ps 4s controller, but whatever. Um, what? Yeah, you know, I'm a four as a guy. Yeah, I don't like it. It hurts my hands. I, I can't explain it to you. Opposite. Um, <laughs> so, but uh, but but Forza is is the the killer for me because like I love Forza. I love Forza Six. I love Forza Horizon Two. I love. That's why I own Xbox One. And if it was, if it just came down to third party, I mean, obviously I would choose a PS4. So anyway, back to what I was about to bring up real quick. So I keep uh, trying to figure out for my son, he's getting for Christmas, shh, kind of quiet, uh, a PS4. And I originally got the Star Wars Battle. He's getting a PS4. <laughs> I'm telling you. Oh. <laughs> it's not here. <laughs> um, so I originally got the Battlefront um, bundle. And that came with the 500 gig, and then there was just a price drop, right? That just hit. That you know, you guys hear about that? 350, right? Yeah, 350. So, but I um, I went and got the COD um, Black Ops 3 um, bundle, and so that that didn't go down as much. And so, but it's got a one terabyte hard drive, and I'm still like wishy washy in between the two. He loves Call of Duty, or he just got into it because he's nine years old. He's only played Ghosts, but um, which one? Which one to get? What do you Not think? Ghost. Oh no 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 no! Which bundle? Which PS4 bundle? Uh, for a kid? Yeah. Whew. This is his first actual system that it's like his. I mean, so he's, do you, he's been... you already have an Xbox One? Yeah. Man, that's my uh... system for the most part. I mean, he plays on it, but. What are the options? What are, which ones are out right now? There's an Uncharted one. There's a there's an Last of Us one, right? I mean, but the the two main ones I'm choosing between is is the Battlefront Special Edition with the Vader on the front, or the Call of Duty Black Ops Three with the custom controller with the you know the orange joysticks. Well, um, just from what you said, that he loves the original Battlefront and it just plays that nonstop. I mean, that yeah. seems like you're the Get the Star right Wars there. bundle. Get the Vader system. But it's got 500 gig hard drive. It doesn't so. matter, man. Fire Dude, okay, so listen, I bought my PS4, I had a 500 gig hard drive, I fucking went that same day I bought my PS4 at Best Buy, and I fucking got a, got a 2 terabyte hard drive right there at Best Buy, I price matched it with some hard drive on Amazon, it was like 80 bucks, so I price matched it, they, 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 they did it for me right there, I came home, I unscrewed the little hard drive, unplugged it, plugged in the 2 terabyte, and I'm good. Now I got a 2 terabyte on my PS4. Wait, you so had to unscrew something? Savings. That sounds hard. Yeah, just one. Yeah, you do. That yeah. sounds yeah, hard. I, one I, little I screw do that. that so fucking blatantly obvious that that's the screw you need uh, to unscrew because like PlayStation symbols all over it, and you just unscrew it and yeah, that's it, dude. That, yeah, but that, one screw, man. That's all. Yeah, like, but I just had to plug something <laughs> in on my Xbox. I, mean, I don't know if I want to unscrew <laughs> something. Jesus, who do you think I am? It's, it's funny you say that because uh, I actually traded in my 500 gig xbox one that i bought on the day it came out and traded in got the forza edition because i got the one terabyte higher drive and got the game 
So, but either w with the PS4, or either <laughs> I know, right? Either um, either system I get, I'm getting the other game. So, like, if I get the Black Ops Three Edition, we're we're buying Battlefront, or if we get the Battlefront, we're buying Call of Duty Black Ops Three. So, either way, I'm owning both, or he'll own both. Hmm. Buy Star Wars uh, one. It's cheaper. Face says hashtag just okay. one screw. Yeah, just um, one screw, man. That's all. You know what? Hashtag that just might one be. A, I got. I know. got some like carpal tunnel or something going on. You know that hurts my hand. Uh, <laughs> I, I just I, I don't know if I can take the unscrew time to that? unscrew a screw. You know, I just, I'm busy. Hey, I'm a busy guy. Like two threads, dude. Two I'm a busy threads, guy. Just... I just want to yeah. plug it in. Whatever, man. Plug you no, you plug know, I'm either. I'm acting like a fanboy, but honestly, my PS4 is sitting right next to me. And I got an Xbox <laughs> One in the living room, and I, I love them both. They each have their own merits. I love them both, and uh, I can't say one's better than the other, to be honest. Oh, yeah. Well, I didn't want to start that story. Just I mean, one screw, man. Just one screw. I'm never doing it. I'm never doing it. Unless they update the uh, software, I will never unscrew that one screw. That's, like, that's the screw what? that I won't go near. What happens if you buy a PS4, have the 500 gig hard drive, use it, download a bunch of games, and then you want to replace your hard drive? I've downloaded download a bunch of games. games yeah, you just download a bunch of, yeah. you download the shit all over again. It stays download on your system, again. on your cloud, whatever, shit, save. Okay. I, I, haven't had, I haven't had a need to yet, to be honest. The, the default storage really? has been enough for me. I had my 500 gig filled up on my Xbox One before I traded in. It was filled up, and right now it's at 53% with the one terabyte. I got a two terabyte on my Xbox, and and that admittedly is my primary uh, console. I just yeah, I just have bought most of my games on there, and so definitely on my Xbox, I, I need the external hard drive. But on my PS4, you know, I'm mainly playing games like The Order, <laughs> The Last of Us. Uh, Different exclusive a, games, and so I, I don't need it. I really yeah, don't. Uncharted bundle. Yeah. I have a two terabyte on my Xbox One, and I'm fifty something percent full on that thing. I'm like, how the fuck do I have so many games? That's one thousand gigs of games. You don't. You're just a games sucker. Games gold. Oh, You're fuck. just a sucker, Jesus. I just end up buying all these games and never play them. Well, the cool Sad. thing about that is you can delete them and still come back to them if you ever want to. You don't have to have them installed. To keep yeah. them on your, to keep access to them. That's true. I delete a lot. I kind of just keep whatever installed that I yeah. am currently playing. Can well, I just uh, wait before you? Well, I guess it will also be kind of changing the subject, but um, I just want to say something. In the past, I've knocked on EA Access really hard, and I just want to say suddenly I'm thinking maybe it's actually kind of a good deal. This is a good deal. There's no fucking. Downline. I'm about to play Battlefield Hardline, which I've refused to buy all this time, and I'm about to play it. Um, let's. When did when Battlefield Hardline come out? March. Mar uh, no, March. April. No, May. Sixteenth. No, October. Wait, 16th. what? No. Oh, when did it originally oh, come out? When did it originally come out? <laughs> I was say, uh... <laughs> it came out in March. Like in March. Yeah, yeah, April, says. May, March June, July. If only there was something called the seven internet. times five, thirty-five. So. Essentially, I'll be playing it for what thirty five bucks, five bucks a month for EA Access. You're paying. What you're can paying you? A month? I wonder what you can get it used at GameStop right now. I wonder if it's less than thirty five dollars. Forty. Forty. Well, so I'm saving five. Up. So I'm essentially saving five dollars. No, I'll tell you right now how much. I picked up Hardline on GameFly for fourteen ninety nine oh with God. free shipping. Okay. Came out March seventeenth, and but but speaking of which, it's EA Access is a one-time fee. If you buy it by the year, it's only thirty dollars. Yeah. Yeah, I pay per month because I'm a sucker, and I've I've been too lazy. <laughs> I, I've been I just too lazy my, to buy the. I renewed my one yearly subscription this month actually, but yeah, so it's thirty bucks a year. It's worth it, dude. For thirty bucks a year, dude, fuck, you get so games good. a week early, and you know they've been adding games to the vault. I'm oh. I'm impressed. They got Dragon Age Inquisition on there, which is yeah. amazing. That game is fantastic. If you haven't played uh, it, and I'm gonna check that out. That's gonna be the first type of game like that that I, I have played. It is played so in good. A long, yeah. long time. Give it, so yeah, I'm give it a chance, man. Time. Don't if I will. if you play it for like I don't know five ten hours and you're like eee, I don't know, keep no. playing it, man. Because that's what happened to me. I got through that first 
I don't know, five, ten hours of it, and I didn't. I, I genuinely did not like it. And then all of a sudden, it's like I fell in love. It's good. No, no. Yeah, I'll check it out for sure. I'll give it some time. Hotline's forty bucks, brand new. So for ten bucks less, you get a bunch of more games. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, you can play Battlefront. You know, for you suckers out there who are buying Battlefront, you can play it, play it a week early. Play. Yeah. yeah. And well, get I'll be 10% doing that. Off. Yeah. And get the ten percent off. Ten percent off. But you sure. have to have the EA access before. You can't and yeah. you order it and then get EA access. And you have to be insured. What, you need what? the uh, lightsaber insurance <laughs> policy. One of the guys in, in, in the Xbox Live, uh, this Xbox Live um, group, works for Microsoft, and he swears up and down. And I, even though I read through the whole damn article he posted. That X, Xbox Live Gold members get 10% off also. You don't have to have EA access to get 10% off a That's Battlefront. False. That's but false. I read through all that and I, I think he's full of crap. He's full of shit. Mm. So, and if he's listening and watching, you're full of crap. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Trust me, I'm he's not listening or watching. Oh. So. <laughs> oh, I'm turning into Captain Hook. Oh no. X, <sighs> now, you got to talk about your 360 and call it the Tris Trisky. That's what Cats and Hug does. Yeah, I was playing the tris Trisky. So I had buddies this week that went out and they actually, for some reason, with my with some of my real life friends that actually have friends. I don't even know how I have them as friends, Whoa. but they're there. Ragger. And uh, yeah. your drug dealers they, don't they count went... as your real life friends. <laughs> just so you know. <laughs> they, they went and bought Xbox Ones, and it's just funny listening to them. You know they. I was playing Battlefield 4 with them the other day, and they're like sitting there, they're talking about Battlefield. They actually went and bought Battlefield, like, used. And they're playing this game, and I'm listening to them, and I'm just like, I'm telling them, they keep asking me all these questions about the Xbox. Like, what does the Xbox do? What is, how many gigs does it have in memory? Should I buy a hard drive? Should I do this? And I'm like, the fuck do you guys not know any of this shit? And they're like, yeah, man, we're, we've been playing on 360 the whole time. We don't know what the fuck's going on. And I'm like, what the fuck, dude? And it just, like, sat there thinking, and I was like, there's all these people worldwide that do not know what the new systems even do, and they yeah. they they presume so much shit on the on news or like what they hear in the media or whatever, and it's like it's just amazing, you know. Like there's probably there's, that's probably why the reason so many people bought the PS4 because nobody knows the Xbox One does all this other shit. Yeah, <laughs> there's people that still think the Wii U is a, is an add-on for the Wii. Yeah, that's crazy. It's fucking you know, nuts. And I, I think that's part of the reason it did so poorly because, I mean, if you really look at their game library, they have a fair amount, as far as, far as first-party games that make it worth owning. Hmm. I mean, if you like Nintendo. Speaking of the PlayStation 4, PS4 <laughs> has a price drop, official price drop. It's three forty nine ninety nine now. Oh, I stepped on your story. I'm sorry. What do you guys think about it? I was say, welcome to 15 minutes ago. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what's it come with. Comes with games, yo. With, with like, I think it's The Last of Us. Games, yo. It comes with games. If you if you <laughs> like taking three and a half days to download a game, I highly recommend getting a PS4. Full of it, man. My, I highly my recommend it. My PS4 <laughs> downloads things like in ten minutes. Dude, like yo, it tells me an hour and it surprises me and it's like, hey, Jesus, we're right. ready to go. And if I'm, you like, live fuck? in fucking yeah, Narnia, if you live in Narnia. And you can download games in ten minutes on your PS4. Then that's one thing. But for the the real people, real people are like <laughs> here where I live. It takes us like three or four days to download a game on the PS4. Break, we all know you live in the North Pole. There's no internet <laughs> out there, dude. Using your satellite internet does not work. As fast as <laughs> dude, I get. Know, I can get. I I can get about, one gigabyte internet about. here, dude. One gigabyte. Yeah. No, but my for I don't get that because I'm not spending money on that shit. Who needs one gigabyte internet? But I get a hundred hundred down, hundred. I get one. I pay for one hundred down internet. Guess what I get on my PS4? Seven. Uh, seven. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, know dude. I, I, I don't even have like the greatest internet in the world. I think I get like forty down, thirty up. But I. 
My shit downloads pretty fast. And for you, th- and for you out there who are listening and saying, "Ew, your router sucks," blah blah blah. Guess what? I've tried three different routers, two different ISPs. I have tried everything. I've tried plugging it straight into the wall. I've tried using Ethernet adapters. I've tried Wi-Fi. There's literally nothing I can do. I cannot get more than seven down on my PS4. No, it's it's the servers. I mean, Sony as a company, it's all about marketing. I mean, they they have a great system. I mean, and they have the DDR5 RAM, which probably is making the difference as far as the P's go and all that. But it's all about marketing. They came out guns blazing. It's all about gaming, and they you know they they suckered everybody in. They keep suckering everybody in because they're spending the money for all these other uh, you know exclusive advertising rights. But when it comes down to it, Sony as a company is not doing well at all and microsoft is and probably in the long run even though they're behind we'll probably end up winning this console war this year this time also in the end no i don't think so i don't think they'll think so no you don't think sony's gonna win the console war spencer came out and said to you don't think i mean xbox i don't care anymore but obviously sony has won this generation i mean hell we're we're like two years into it 10 million systems ahead it's of over, Xbox yeah. One? Yeah. But, this, but is, this is still the beginning. Oh, it's at the beginning. It's two years into a system's life cycle. We have hundreds of games. Hundreds I think Tomb Raider might help them get caught up a little bit with the exclusive. And Halo. I don't know. People are kind of salty people, about these, uh, multi, uh, these microtransactions like in Tomb Raider. People, people will be like me and just wait till next year when it comes out on the PS4 and buy it with all the DLC for 60 bucks. I'm just happy to have both, you know. If I have trouble with one, yeah, I can be I can be happy with the other. You you know it's funny you say that because I mean I'm sorry if I interrupted you, but um, it's one thing that that happened where I was in such a tunnel with Xbox and like, you know I, I love Xbox, I hate PS4, but and I was just stuck in this. And we were sitting there. We were I was gonna buy another Xbox One. I was gonna buy one for my son. He guess what he's gonna get? He was gonna get the the Master Chief Collection uh, or not. Uh, no, nah, actually not that. The Halo 5 Guardians Edition. Mm-hmm. I was going to buy that for him. And we were, my wife and I were sitting there talking about it. And I started realizing, it's like, you know what? I was just, I've been stuck in such a rut, such an Xbox like only rut. That, it's called you know, being a fanboy. Yeah, I was a <laughs> fanboy. I'll admit it. You know, I'm a recovering fanboy. And then I started listening to Podcast Beyond. And I started, you know, paying attention to the, the PS4 and going, you know, all this vitriol, all this hate. I just got, ju- I jumped on it, and now I don't, I don't feel that way anymore. I'm like, you know, I'm I'm excited to have both. You know, it, it's it's uh-huh. it's not good for your life to be hating on everything. I really don't even hate on PC gamers. I just, I personally will won't do it. I'd rather not game, but that's just me. You didn't hear my whole story about my dad and whatever. Yeah. You hate PC games. It's, it's <laughs> no, funny. I don't, I don't. It's funny after you ha- after you do <laughs> eventually end up with both consoles to get on YouTube, and and see all the comments there, and, and all of a sudden you see them in a whole different way. And yeah, you're like, wow. They, they... The and yes, really people fun. say, what are you rich? What are you rich? Get? We're not all rich. We can't afford to have both consoles. Who are you? Like the freaking pope? <laughs> we're we're not rich, man. We're just. Normal people who just yeah. bought both Trust systems. Me, and... I am not rich, not even close. <laughs> and, not and, even and, probably middle class. You know, I and, just save up my money. And I know people have fucking asked me, like, just where the fuck you buy so many games and you never play them? Wait, man, I just buy games. That's what I waste my money on. People, Priorities. People, people waste their money on other don't, shit. Don't feed your kids. Don't get yeah, gas, you know? Just don't, buy yeah. the game. It's don't not that hard. Kids. Yeah. You screw your, screw the kids, man. They they cannot eat for like a few days, you know. Okay. Sometimes Look, you got to get a game. No McDonald's, Vienna sausages. Okay. Yeah. Daddy needs this new game. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so that's how you do I it. Just make, I I make enough to do both. Yeah. My kids do not know this the struggle. I grew up poor. I was yeah. poor. You a poor? My chips said chips. Uh, I'm still poor, but yeah, they weren't laid. He said chips. Cookies Just chips? Cookies. Yeah, chips. And soda? Yeah. Yeah. He said like Close soda. From Goodwill. I drank Parade. I grew up on Parade soda. That was the generic Tim type Pico. of soda I drank. Oh my God. <laughs> Parade. <Kool-Aid. laughs> I got Kool Aid. Fake man. 
That's where it's at. Fago. Fago? That you mm-hmm. like ICP, huh? You just listen to them all day, <laughs> no, every not day. At all, but I I did drink. Fago as a kid. <laughs> yeah, I, you're at you're at the ICP concerts, just shirtless, just getting <laughs> sprayed with Fago. I can see the it. Sky right there. I never even heard of that. That sounds like something from Idiocracy. <laughs> you know what? Fago? Yeah, Fago. No. Dude. Is that is that like a Midwest thing? I've never even no, heard. Yeah, of that. No, no, actually, that's it's, an ICP it's, thing. It's, it's, yeah, Insane Clown Posse does this thing. Oh. Where Fago, and they actually. Like spray it all over the audience at oh, uh, shit. at concerts. It's, it's... No, you're obviously not an insane clown, so get out of here. <laughs> no, I, sorry. An insane clown posse song. I I, right. I don't. I sincerely, <laughs> sincerely, I, I do not dude, not know one. I see people was awesome back in the day. That's Jungle all big listens to. I don't care who you are. <laughs> 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 all right. All right, guys, so move on to community questions. John Matt has a question for us. He says, Star Wars Battlefront beta gets pretty old for me pretty fast. What John, is your guys' opinion on its longevity after release? John, I agree. Uh-oh. I agree, John. <laughs> Play Battlefield, John. Uh, yeah, no, maybe. I, I think that he's just basing that on the beta. I mean, there's three modes... It's just yeah. it's the very it, minimum the, of the it. The joke's on you when you, the game comes out and it's the same. <laughs> joke's on you. Ten percent off is gonna be fifty dollars. I mean, I know games that I've spent full price on that I've never even touched. I guarantee you, I will get my money's worth out of this game. Guaranteed. Jesus, you need like a bowler hat right now and a <laughs> handlebar mustache, man. I don't know, man. I'm I'm just thinking about. Do this game, you know, and when it does launch, if it will be like you're saying, like the beta, will be worth the money. No, it won't be. And will it be worth the money? This game know. is worth thirty dollars. Thirty dollars. Thirty dollars. No. This game is look. Everybody's knocking Rainbow Six Siege, which probably has more content than Star Wars. <laughs> think about it. Just think about it. But everybody <laughs> loves Star Wars. Cause no, it, but was the Star Wars. There is character customization. There is. Oh, okay. And there's not in Rainbow Six Siege. Okay. There's not. No. See, I, I think I think you, you can't if you like Battlefront, you can't hate it on Siege. I think Siege is worth the money. If you think Battlefront's worth the money, Siege is worth the money. Exactly. I, I would exactly. actually. I'm gonna. I would probably gonna buy Siege. Honestly. See, um, I think Siege is good. It ain't worth the money, it's but great. it's good. And yeah, it's, it well, and Star Wars are both not worth the money. Maybe you could get yeah. a, some sort of package deal. That would be worth the money. <laughs> well, and Tony Hawk. Just put them all together yeah. and have them like, Siege, because they're 60. all related. Siege, Star Wars, Tony Hawk. Package. <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. I'm just... I don't know. I don't, I don't know either, man. I just... What do you? What the? What is it? Is that a paintbrush? Or is that a cigar? I don't, I don't <laughs> understand what's hanging out of your mouth. Right now. <laughs> That's a pen. That's Anyways, a pen? Right. Henley Merrill, also known as Gunny Chief, he was our guest last week. He asked a question for us as well. He said, do you think we will see indoor maps in Battlefront? Close quarter maps. Maybe in a, in a mode like t- Team Deathmatch. They have to well, have there was Deathmatch. kind of an indoor map in the Hoth section. Yeah. The, so, the um, Rebel Base. So. They might like do, you know how on Battlefield where they do, when they do Team Deathmatch, they have the original maps, but they kind of just like corner you into a section of the map. Mm-hmm. There's a smaller version. So they might do that in this game where like, you know, they'll have you in the Hoth map, but only in that indoor area. I don't know. Might work. Might not. No, work. they will not have indoor maps. Move on to the next question. That's oh, it. God, that would be terrible. Actually, and he wanted just to know about our thoughts on the Metal Gear Solid Online insurance yeah. fraud. Uh, it's bullshit. <laughs> Game video games should not have insurance. That's retarded. That's like when you go to GameStop and they're like, "You buying this game used for two dollars and fifty-seven cents? Oh, Do you want to buy insurance for this game in case there is a scratch?" How many yeah. of you have actually done that? Nobody. Never. Nobody no. has ever done that. Especially Never. the next gen games, because uh, I mean the the ones that are Blu-ray based, those things are like lacquer proof. You know, like you could you could Dude, sit there I'm and telling scratch you, man. the fuck you, and out. And you know what? Nothing's gonna even happen. The crazy thing is, even if you do scratch the shit out of that, you know what you do? You get your deodorant and just rub that deodorant all over it, man. It fixes it. Deodorant. To- fixes toothpaste it. works too. Just what? I didn't know you don't know the you don't know the, the tricks. Yeah, no, right that's there. like some. 
You, that's the secrets, man. Don't tell anybody. That's what you do. You you work for GameStop. You fix. Oh, no, products. I don't work for GameStop. I'm telling you, man. These are trade secrets. If you get a, a scratches on your disc, whether it's a CD, a DVD, Blu-ray, whatever, what you do is you can take a stick of deodorant, white deodorant, rub that on there, buff it out with a sock, preferably a dirty sock. It will be fixed. You can that also do like, it. I don't know, man. You can <laughs> also like, you, know, you can <laughs> also do it with two. Ye, you ye of little faith. I'm telling you, try it. You, um, Just try it. You'll well, see that I'm right. Can I also well, charge my phone by putting it in the microwave? <laughs> yes, you can. You send it to me, I will put it in my microwave, and it'll work. I promise you. You this won't ever get it back. Wait, what kind of deodorant should I no, use? I'm, no, like but for real, for real, spinning. I've done this many times. I swear, I swear on everything. Secret? You can use white Fic- stick deodorant, or you can use Fic- toothpaste. Mitchum. It will freaking fix your disc dude i swear to god Wait, how, okay so the toothpaste part i get the deodorant so the toothpaste you like kind of like you get the deodorant but you don't get the toothpaste how's that possible like toothpaste on your disc and you like yeah. rub it in yeah you buff it in with the dirty ass sock man toothpaste yes the stiff sock in my corner of my room <laughs> yes I'm t- i swear it fills in the scratches dude i'm t- you, you're laughing you think it's funny but i, I swear it works no, i think it's awesome I, it's like no, for, yeah man. for real I, I that's it's like some really shaman cool. stuff man I'm about, it works. No scratch, I'm about to scratch that kill zone disc the yeah, all right it, like, have you ever used a disc on? doctor no disc doctor you never use a disc doctor yeah this doctor i've used one well jesus is like 17 years old. He doesn't know yeah, what a disc no, doctor is. What this doctor is. But a disc doctor, it, disc doctor, you spray a solution on there and you buff out the disc with like a abrasive wheel that spins the disc around and you have a little handle and you buff it out. Well, toothpaste or deodorant essentially does the same thing. It creates an abrasive surface. You buff it out with a sock or whatever kind of cloth and it, it basically fixes the scratch, man. It's the same thing. Huh. Why is that to be a dirty sock? Yeah, it can be. Because it's sock. more funny that way, man. You have to use a dirty sock or dirty underwear. You don't want to use fresh stuff. It's stupid. I want to use clean socks. New ones. Well, I've heard clean socks don't work. I'm sorry. They don't work? No. Take one of your multiple mismatched socks. Yes. That I have yeah, everybody to has that. Everybody has like an entire Tupperware container full of mismatched socks. Use one of them. Yeah. Isn't that from South Park where the um, like where the socks get eaten? I don't know, but that that sounds Lost legit. Reference. That All sounds right. legit to me. Yeah, butter. I would imagine socks get eaten. Jesus, change the subject right now. <laughs> let's talk. Let's talk video games, guys. Because we haven't yet at all. <laughs> oh, hey. Okay, I did. I do want to add this. Okay, now I know this is probably going to be controversial, also. Ooh. Fallout 4. I could give a shit less. About I'm the Pit Boy Edition special. Get the Again. hell out. Now, it's not that... Maybe <laughs> Is that what you were going to say? Enough. Is that what, what you are going to say? Alright, virtual fist bump. Fist bump. Okay. Dude, because who wants a dumb piece of $3 Walmart plastic on the wrist that they're going to pay... What? How much is that? How much is it? How much is your... Oh, is your God. how much is it? Jesus, even Jesus, Jesus phone, already dude. ordered it. He's looking at he's like looking too. all innocent, dude. <laughs> I'm looking at my receipt. I did too. Shit, like, oh, fuck. Scott and Jesus, how much did you pay for your piece of your of them, your actually. plastic bracelet that does nothing? One hundred and twenty dollars. Yeah. You paid one hundred and twenty dollars yeah. for basically a, a piece of plastic that you put your phone into that pretends like it's a pit boy when you could just download the pit boy app on your phone and use it as a pit boy for free nope. what nope. how is that worth that I money bought it. Scott, i bought it 120 dollars so that i can turn around and sell it for double and pay okay. for my all right. other i'll give you that yeah. copy. all right scott on gets eBay, a free Apple pass PayPal, scott gets a free pass but scott's a businessman the only reason, he gets a free pass the only reason i did that i actually planned to use it when i first bought it but after they said that the Pit Boy will not fit my my new phone. It was worthless to me, but I wasn't gonna cancel the pre order once until it. So, right. Yeah, I got the success. Right. Yeah. So Scott's a businessman. He's a smart businessman. Jesus, what's your mm. excuse? I don't know. You say smart businessman. It sounds like cheapskate. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. Hey, it makes sense to me. Uh, You're gonna make some know, money. Dude. That makes sense. It, 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 it's just, now Jesus it, just wants to wear it to work and shit, dude. He wants to have a, to he wants to have his phone. 
I no, she's strapped to his wrist at work. Dude, I want to go to school and wear yeah. my pit show boy. and tell. My he pit wants boy, to show like, hey, I bought my my I bought a pit boy for Christmas. If okay, Got my pit boy. If the pit boy app was exclusive to the hardware, that makes sense. But because this is okay. literally a piece of plastic that you're going to set your phone inside of <laughs> that runs, that runs the same it. app, it makes absolutely I no sense. I, I, I pre-ordered the 6S Plus, and I don't think it'll fit. No, no it ain't going to fit. Fuck. There's no pluses. <laughs> it's tough right now. Fuck. Yeah. You're going to sell my shit now. I'm gonna sell I got Pit Boy, two Pit Boy editions, one PlayStation 4, one you Xbox One. two of one. them? I got two of them. Wait. Two different versions, bro. How are there two different versions? Well, two different systems. What does that have to do with the piece of plastic that you put your phone in? I don't care. I'll fucking sell you one. You want one? PS4, Xbox One. <laughs> <laughs> Gunny Chief said he'll take them. And speaking of which, Gunny Chief, don't use dun dirty underwear for that disc trick. No, uh, the Gunny, right the, the dirtier the underwear, the dirtier the sock, the better your results. Trust me, man. I'm just... Don't even worry about the smell. Don't even worry about it. I don't know, man. When we're talking about the pit boy, you know, it's for the fans. It is for just for fans. That's what it is. I get that. I get that. I'm just saying it's, it's not like, worth 150 like, bucks or whatever. You're whatever telling you're me that it's worth 150 bucks for no, the fucking not. fridge for Call of Duty Black Ops Three? Who the f who bought that? No, of <laughs> course not. That's not worth it. Who would buy that? <laughs> okay. Speaking of things that are way too expensive to buy, the the Sphero BB8s. Yeah, you know, bucks. Bucks. yeah. They look really cool though. You have two of them, and you're gonna. <laughs> I had one and... of those motherfuckers, and I returned it, dude. I, I, no joke. I brought it home. I unboxed it. I was like, "Well, this is fucking cool looking." You know, I charged it, I used it, and then I was like, "Wait a minute! I just spent 150 bucks on this." Like, wait, it's no wait, fucking Jeremy, I can call it right now. One to play with and one to keep boxed up. Am I right? No, no, nope. You sold them. Boy, boy, girl. Oh, kids. oh, oh. You fucked yeah. up. No, you should I didn't play with one of those. Yeah. I, what the I hell's a Sparrow BB-8? What, what are you even talking about it's, right now? It's that, oh, remember, remember Brink? I told you I went and bought that. It I was, was like, app. remember Brink? I, I was like, message you guys. I was like, hey, guys, I'm at Radio Shack. Look at this. And then I like send you a picture. And it was like a little ball. It looks like a You send a lot of pictures. I ignore them all. I don't know. Yeah, well, dude, the fucking, I was at Radio Shack this time. Okay. Like this. a month ago. Okay. And I was in there buying things because I don't know what the fuck I was doing in Radio Shack. I was doing something. <laughs> you, just, you woke up in Radio Shack. <laughs> woke up in Radio Shack. Would you think Radio Shack still open? <laughs> in my town, there's actually like one of the <laughs> last ones. That's where he buys all of his electronics from. <laughs> the last Where the fuck am I? You're in Radio, Radio Shack, sir. <laughs> Anyways, I woke up in a Radio Shack in a mysterious town. And there was okay. a Spiro. They had two left. Wait, what's a Spiro? What are you talking about? Oh, What's a Sphero? Sphero. What a in the hell is that? Is that yeah, a Sphero? Yes. Yeah. That's a, a ball. I have no idea what that is. It's a ball. That's an anal bead on a plate. <laughs> that rotates and control with your phone. <laughs> you control it with your phone, Rink. And okay. you pay 150 bucks and it goes beep, 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 You pay 150 bucks for an anal bead on a plate that makes beeping yeah, and noise. Yeah, and then I returned it because I realized I shouldn't have bought this for 150 bucks. Man, so I'm telling it. you, you guys are suckers. It's sold out. Quit it's wasting your money, out. man. So, what are you doing with this stuff? Seriously, it ain't going to be worth money someday. It's not. It's not. You never know. I'm sorry to break the news to you. Me. I bet you that fucking Fallout 4 Pit Boy edition will be worth two hundred. It's gonna be worth nothing, man. They're gonna give that at McDonald's Happy Meals, man, as a toy. It's <laughs> not gonna so? be worth money. You'll find it in Goodwill in a couple. I will of make years. you one. I will make you one for half price. I guarantee it'll be just as good. I'll make it, you one. Yeah. Will it fit my phone? Yeah, it will fit your phone. I, oh yeah. <laughs> it will be custom, dude. It'll okay, be, I want you to make me one. And I will make you one. one. Okay. Pit yeah. Boy. Send me seventy dollars. You make me a Fallout yeah, 4. Yeah, PayPal. I'll give you my PayPal address after this. Give me $70. <laughs> I will make you the most badass pit boy you've ever seen, and you just put your phone in there. Okay. Okay. I'm down. Moving on. Games. Xbox. Games. We talked about games. 
Everything. I'm done, guys. Yeah, we're back. Used up. Our... I'm just used up. Uh, I feel you like... guys will have to have me back on because I had a great time, and, I, and unfortunately, I don't have my own podcast like you guys or Scott. But uh, I, I really Scott did has enjoy. like five of them. Yeah. <laughs> Why we'll have you on too, man? Keep in touch. Why yeah, do I have a feeling sure. we I'll lost at least like half our listeners this week? Because we always tend to, oh, tend to do that on every. Podcast. It's my fault. It's it's my fault. It's probably because they they they're all suckers and and they're all pre-ordered Star Wars. Yeah, that's part because they all really like they all are big IMS fans. Yeah, yeah everybody IMS. Knows IMS. I I'm like IMS not IMS. here. Screw this. We're out. I like IMS yeah. too. Honestly, yeah. I like you're all eating the guys. eating the dog food and out of a yeah. bowl. IMS actually had like real people come over to his house today. He's kind of having like a crazy Absolutely. panic attack right now. I can imagine. Dude, I just, he's probably having some extravagant party. Lady Gaga's there. Yeah, dude, he's like and, a celebrity now. Yeah, IMS is he's, he's Lady the Gaga man. Is snorting cocaine with IMS. He's IMS right now is smoke snorting cocaine off of Lady Gaga's uh, bosom. That's yeah. What he's doing. That's what he's Fun doing. fact: Lady Gaga's first name is actually Stephanie. Stephanie. <laughs> That is a fun fact. Fun fact. I am says real name is John, but he says Sean. I don't know why. Sean John. But his real name isn't Sean. That's a fake name. Y'all didn't know that. But fun fact, his name is John. Fun or fact, his other name is Billy. Another fun fact. Hook is actually not camping. He is in front of McDonald's playing Destiny. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't pay his Wi-Fi bill. So, yeah. He did not pay his Wi-Fi. He's like, guys, I'll be camping next week in front of McDonald's to play Destiny. They're taking King. Well, speaking of which, how's the party going, Scott? How's the party? Yeah, next door. I think it's died down because we got some pretty uh, we got some pretty bad neighbors that call the cops when the music's too loud. Uh, maybe you can still grab a plate though. You probably Seriously, do. Bring. I don't know. You weren't here when we were talking about it, but my neighbors have been blasting some music. I wasn't sure if the circus came in town or if Jesus' cousins were over here. It was <laughs> well. That's yeah. easy, man. Was it like uh, rock music or like? You should have yeah, 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 yeah. like, look. This is what you should have done, Sky. You should have over there and be like, "Hey, I know Jesus." And be like, Jesus? Yeah, we know him. Be like, yeah, I'm his friend. We're on a podcast. Let's... And they're going to be like, oh, just come in. <laughs> you you would have went home with a full stomach, tamales, tacos, <laughs> yeah, beer. I'm sure they know that. Eight ball of Coke. I you that. Eight ball of Coke. <laughs> <laughs> you would have been set, man. Okay, Portland. Scott, tell it. Portland. Call back. Oh, he Portland. Went to a place Scott came to Portland. Donuts. He came to Voodoo Donuts. And oh, to oh. <laughs> so there's a place in Portland called Voodoo Donuts that has these uh, awesome donuts. And I went there to visit a buddy of mine. And they have a donut that's called the Cock and Balls. It's a giant donut that's Why shaped like... Why don't you play like... with your Cock and Balls? I'm going to go get one right. tonight. So... <laughs> So I go in there and I order one, and the girl at the counter is like, oh, I said, I can't believe I'm going to say this, but I'd like a cock and balls. And the girl <laughs> says, all right. She's like, I just have one question. And I was like, what's that? And she says, do you want to rock out with your cock out, or do you want your dick in a box? And I went, what? She's like, is that for here to go? <laughs> She's like, you fucking tourist. <laughs> That place is amazing, oh. though. You ever come to the Portland area, Portland, Oregon? They have voodoo donuts here. Fuck, that shit is good. Mm. So it's always a line. Even you know if you what? go at midnight, uh, there is a line, but it's good. There's a place here. It's a brewery, and it's called Big Beaver Brewery. And the, mm. the logo is a beaver's head, but it looks like a vagina. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and all their beers are very sexually named. Um, there's the Whiskey Dick Stout. Nice. And there's the Scottish beanbag ale. <laughs> and, uh, beanbag you know, it ale. just it goes on and on. And the, the place is fantastic. The beers are delicious. So if you ever come out to uh, northern Colorado slash southern Wyoming, hit up Big wow. Beaver Brewery. Big Beaver Brewery. Big yeah. Beaver. Reminds me of a Primus song. We know I had a big brown beaver. <laughs> a big brown beaver. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, everybody, to join us and see us and 
talk to us and talk to everybody in the community. Go to the Horrible Gamers Facebook group. Find us, of course, on Facebook. Just Horrible Gamers. Search it up. You'll find it. It's a close group. Just click join and we'll accept your request after checking your background and all that right away. Also, you can always leave a voice at 504-475-4497 and tell us your thoughts about anything related to gaming or us or I am's. Also, leave us an email at horriblegamerspodcast at gmail.com. Also, find us on YouTube. Follow us on Twitter at Horrible Gamers Show. Follow us on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Horrible Gamers Podcast, where we're live every Sunday, sometime after 7 p.m. Let's put it that way, because we we'll never start at 7 p.m. Sometime after 7 p.m. Tonight it was after uh, 8 p.m., let's yeah, be t- honest. <laughs> <laughs> Sometime after 7 p.m. on Saturdays, we will be on. Just wait for us. We will show up eventually. And thanks to everybody who joined us tonight on Twitch, Gunny Chief, Faye, someone else, Scott's uh, friend. Shadow, uh, Shadow Game Beanie, my buddy Roy. Yeah, thanks for coming, Roy. We appreciate you. And yeah, anyways, Captain Hook couldn't make it this week. Jim, CPT, and Hook. This is Gamertag. Find him on Xbox Live. Also, the King of Zed, Rob, could not make it this week either. He is stopping a revolution in New Zealand. He has to calm the people down. They're trying to overthrow him. Find him on PlayStation Network and Xbox Live. And I am the celebrity of the group, Sean I am's Fuller. They call me I am's. He cannot make it this week. Find him on PlayStation Network, Xbox Live. He's a really cool guy to talk to sometimes. And find his new podcast, The Awkward Podcast, or Horribly Awkward. At, at horribly Awkward. Horribly Awkward Podcast on Twitter. That was horribly awkward. What the fuck? What the fuck? Did he change the Twitter handle on that shit? Because it's not Awkward Podcast no more. It's I'm pretty like, sure he ripped this off. That's all I know. I'm going to sue him. Yeah. We're suing That's him. I am uh, a class action lawsuit. We're fucking I'm, filing a lawsuit you're against you now. Yeah. You're done, bro. You're fucking done. Just kidding, everybody. He did a pretty cool podcast. Episode one. <laughs> he had uh, Scott Clark. Actually, Scott's with us right now. He had him on his show, and you find a lot what? of things about you Scott. What? You know what Yeah. We used. I you signed my know, breast. Like, I, I feel like I know Scott on a personal level now. Like I feel like he's like my friend now. Aww. I know so many things about you, dude. Like, we both like Taylor Swift. <laughs> you lead off with that. I know a lot of things about Scott. Man, you, you guys are Taylor like the Swift. same person, man. We both like Taylor Swift. We both, I don't know, we both, I don't know. Both love the sound like of your voice. Naked walks on the beach, I guess. Yeah. Oh, anyways, find me, Jesus Walks a Lot on Xbox Live and PlayStation Network as GSUS Walks a Lot. Send me a request, friend request me, send me a message, tell me I'm awesome, tell me I'm stupid. Whatever you want to tell me, You're stupid. I'll accept. <laughs> oh, Scott. <laughs> you told me to tell you. Uh, that you means look, a lot. You man. look like a, <laughs> uh, a lot. dirty <laughs> hobbit. Fine, Brink, a eternity on Xbox Live and PlayStation Network, and um, you guys can do your por- thing. Pornhub.net or whatever. Giants fan, Jay, where can they find you? JKSJ is my gamer tag on Xbox. Yay, we'll find and it on Xbox. Giants fan J on Twitter, although I'm not on there very much because I had to quit it. <laughs> Scott, tell us about your podcast, man. I know you have a few. I have two podcasts, not a few, but uh, the first is a gaming podcast called The Gaming Outsider. We've got a website at thegamingoutsider.com. And we've got uh, at least one episode every week. We actually try for three. We've, we're very community three focused. Three a week? So, well, we do, we do one big one, and then we have little ones based on just that follow just, just like, a certain okay. game. Breaking so. news. Type of deal. What's that? Like breaking news alert. Breaking news alert. Breaking news alert. <laughs> well, I think he said it was just game, like one game specifically, podcast for one specific game. Yeah, yeah, like we just did a Metal Gear Solid 5 episode. We're going to be doing a episode just on the Battlefront beta. and But we have like the weekly episode where we, you know, we talk about the news and game releases and a, and a topic each week. Breaking so. news? Yes. <laughs> Breaking news. <laughs> Outside of that, we also have, I also may uh, host on the Hollywood Outsider podcast, which is a movie and entertainment oh, yeah. podcast that releases a new episode every Thursday. Right now we record on Wednesdays. 
And uh, we've been doing that for about four years, uh, four group of four guys, and we have a really good time talking about movies and TV shows. So check us out there. If you'd like to follow me on Xbox Live, I am at Scotty Lindsay. That's two words: Scotty with an I E, Lindsay with an A Y. Scotty. What? All right, Good everybody. Up. Thank you for coming on the show. That was uh, episode seventy-three. <laughs> show, it's been over, man. <laughs> <laughs> that was horrible. They always had a- that was, that was not horrible. That was gold. That was the worst. No, that was horrible. horrible. It's, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pretty much uh, edit everything out where my mouth opens up. Pretty <laughs> same here, Other man. than that, it was pretty good. Scott, I just added you on Xbox Live. How are we favorite. not friends on Xbox Live to just now? I don't know, dude. You just never told me your gamer tag. I feel like we're not really friends. Scott, now. you don't want to add him, man. I'm telling you, dude. It'll, <laughs> it'll ruin your life. Yeah, dude. Just always send you requests. I'll send you yeah, messages. He's that like guy where you like add him, and then he's like, click on this website, bro. It's exciting. <laughs> this, oh, this, website, this website is giving away dude. free Xbox Ones every five Have seconds. Have you guys noticed that shit's like an epidemic lately, dude? Oh, dude oh, I block at God. least one person yeah. every freaking day, man. I got one yeah. today. Dude, click on awesome.com. <laughs> www.awesome.net17483.com. Awesome. It's ridiculous. Sean just messaged us. He's like, how did it go? Like, it went like shit. It went terrible, I'm tell him, man. I'm going to tell him. I'm going to tell him, Scott, Scott's not welcome on the show anymore. Tom Brick was on it. He had, uh-huh. <laughs> he, had, he had one or maybe two beers. It was bad. It was bad. Brink is fucking drunk off his ass. They're all drunk except me, I am, and I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Hey, it's Scott. Scott. Yes, sir. So what's the last movie you watched, man? Let's talk movies. Um, I just uh, <laughs> I didn't see The Martian. That was the last movie I saw. Really? You did is see The Martian? What did you think? Did you read the book? I listened to the book. I did listen to the audiobook over the summer. So okay, all right. I thought the Martian, the adaptation to a movie, they did a good job. They did a good job. It was I will give them one credit of the for that. Adaptations I've seen. Yeah, but what I am disappointed about was they left giant chunks. They just like, threw what, them out, man. Part of the book they just like let's take which these part? giant chunks and just throw them. Throw them out. The of, we don't need them. For instance, all right. Toward the latter part, oh, where gross. where he's traveling from the hab to, to the, the uh, uh, mav, the yeah. the second mav, mm-hmm. they left all of the drama oh, out. In really? the book, he got stuck. There was a huge sandstorm. He wasn't he sure crashes. if he was gonna make it. He got stuck. He had to figure out a way to give him get himself unstuck. But in the movie, all that just didn't exist. He, he basically crash? teleported to the mav in the movie, and that 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 was kind of disappointing. Well, there was a long travel, but to get to the have to the have, but you got to remember, man, it's a movie. It was hey, already hey, a pretty long I know. movie. <laughs> I know, man. I know, and that—that's what my old lady keeps telling me. That's what she keeps yeah. telling me. She's like, "You're fucking stupid. You're fucking. You are movie. fucking. You're an asshole, and you're stupid." This is, this is one where I, I feel like I enjoyed the movie better because I read the book first. And, that, and I usually don't say that. This is one where I feel like I actually liked the movie. You know what was a big surprise? You know what was a big surprise? Matt Damon. Hmm. Matt, <laughs> Matt Damon was a big Damon. surprise. Matt Lyman. That's a great. He's a great actor. Dude. All right. I haven't I'm, seen the movie. I will though, admit right but... now. I read the book two or three years ago because I listened to a podcast and they had the author on, and he talked about hmm. the book. He talked about how it was all based on real science, based in uh, on modern day technology, um, and. I read the book. I loved it. And you know who I pictured the entire time as uh, the guy? What the, what the fuck's his name? Mark Jason Watney. Bateman. Mark Watney. You know who I pictured? I pictured George Clooney. I don't know why. Yeah. I just pictured it's George crazy. Clooney. I knew you were going to say George Clooney. You did not know I was going to say George Clooney. You were thinking. I almost said You did not know that. Did you know that? I swear to God. I swear to he God. You knew I was going to say George Clooney. You're like, you're like, we're connected right now. <laughs> you guys are connected. fucking drunk. <laughs> But uh, Scott's like he knew I was going to say George Clooney, I but <laughs> I for real picture George Clooney. I have no idea why he, cause George Clooney's like a, I'm kind of too good, but I'm a smart ass, but I'm kind of funny and I'm kind of likable at the same time. And that's who I pictured. And Matt He's Damon, old, I thought man. was just going to do a terrible job, but George Matt Clooney's Damon kind of killed it, man. Matt Damon did a damn Matt good job. I'm, I'm proud of him. <laughs> I'm proud of Matt Damon. I think yeah, he did a damn awesome. good job. 
I know we were, we're talking about on our this. show, we were talking about on the Hollywood Outsider how this is like the third or fourth movie in the past decade where we had to rescue Matt Damon from something. Yeah. Between <laughs> Saving Private Ryan <laughs> and um, this one and oh, God, Saving the third Private one. Ryan is so good. I love that movie. That was 98, though. That was Save more than Ryan. a decade. Is that really 98? Yeah, dude, you're fucking wow, old. Man. You're fucking old, Brink. Shut up, man. You were like yeah. 10 years old when that movie shut, came out. Shut now up. Now you're old. But. But I, I just want to mention real quick a movie that I saw that that has a big video game tie-in as far as like the way it was made and everything. Turbo Kid. Oh, I've heard. It. Yeah, we got a screener for that actually at the Hollywood Outsider. I didn't see it, but Aaron did. Oh, he loved it. He said it was I so love good. Turbo Kid. It's sick. It reminds me of like Far Cry uh, Blood Dragon, as far as yeah. like the whole you know you know lasers and all that and just can't be goodness in video games and i mean he's got a fucking power glove and he's just like turning people into like masses of blood everywhere it's just that movie is amazing especially the girl the book that needs to make it to a movie is ready player one man it's been gonna make it spielberg got it yeah oh yeah Yeah. that movie better be fucking good or i'm gonna throw a fucking fit about that shit i'm gonna that book is so good one movie that i'm not ashamed to say the book was way fucking better and it's a disgrace was the Maze Runner, The Scourge Trials. I'm sorry, but that movie sucked. I watched that the other day. I never watched the first that one. That movie kinda, sucked, man. I just the book went was in and watched the second one, never read the books. I just went in there. It was like, okay, cool movie. But it kind of ended in a stupid <laughs> spot, but it's okay. Here's the thing. It wasn't like The Martian where they just left chunks of the book out. They completely rewrote the story. They, they rewrote to... it. They reorganized yeah. it. It was completely different. Because mo- that movie is based on... It's based on a book series, but they don't have to fucking follow the books. It's like Dude, the fucking You have Hunger to Games at least books. loosely follow the damn book, man. <laughs> no, you don't. This was completely different. It was a fucking movie. No, it was bad. It was I'm going to make a movie. That movie fucking sucked, I'm going to make a movie based on a book. James and the Giant Peach or something. Shut up. Yeah. Goosebumps. Jesus and, and the Giant. Like... Herpes. <laughs> <laughs> Cock. <laughs> oh, man. I'm just gonna the, Lost, the Lost World was a better book than a movie. And oh, well, duh. Lot, yeah, and because the, there was a dinosaur in it. Dude, the Lost was World actually, was great. No, the, when the giant ass in, mosquito in the, was on his back. Come on. There was a dinosaur in in the book that was like a chameleon dinosaur that could blend into any atmosphere in the in the background. And guess what? Jurassic World. A bunch of that movie is from that book. And that's why Jurassic World is for me was it was like. Like before, it was like Jurassic, all those were the tickling of the balls, and Jurassic World was the finish. Was the money oh, shot. Jurassic yes. World. Loved hey, it. I you guys it. like podcasts. Have you ever listened to the podcast called How Did This Get Made? Yes, oh. every single How? episode. Oh, my God. I would recommend that if you like movies. It's it's two of the guys from The League. It's Jason Manzukis and um, Paul Shear. And, and then Paul's either girlfriend or wife. I can't remember if they're married wife. or not. June. Is it are they married? They sit and they talk about like some shitty movie, and they just kind of talk about it, and it's it's freaking hilarious because they just go into so much detail. It, it's it's a little hit or miss. I know you said, Jeremy, you listen to every episode. Mm-hmm. I I stopped listening actually, and I kind of I kind of focus more on the live episodes now more than the the actual studio ones because they're more entertaining. I recently listened to the one on Con Air and Face Off. Yeah. Those were both freaking hilarious. Oh, so funny. My my favorite I think is Reindeer Games. But they just they just take these movies that are just freaking terrible and what? pick them apart and those talk about Those three were terrible movies. Are. I love all those movies. Oh, no, no. <laughs> and, and Dude, that's what they talk Face about. Face-off Conair and Reindeer Games are all amazing. Conair and Face-off, Jason Manzoukas <laughs> talks about how much he loves it. He's just he's like this movie is outstanding cuz they are I love Face-off and, and Oh Conair. yeah, dude. Yeah. They're awesome. Zardoz. The Zardoz episode was. Have you listened to that one? Uh, I have. I've not. I haven't. I don't listen to the episodes of a movie I've not seen. I've never seen Zardoz. So yeah, it's a Sean Connery movie where he's like a floating it, head, right? And he wears a diaper. I haven't seen it, so it's. I, I, I skip the ones if I haven't seen the movie, except I listened to the Sleepaway. It's on YouTube. Oh, uh, YouTube. Good lord. And you, do you say you boob? You boob. It's on you boob. <laughs> we should end this podcast. <laughs> Trishwisky. I tell him Yubu. Yubu.com. I think you better like find that website really quick and Dude, see if it's safe or not. It's not it's patent pending, people. Snatch it up. Yubu. That's.
That's a monopoly. Trademark. Trisky. Tr 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 so are we playing some Battlefield or are we going to bed? Battlefield time. It's almost one o'clock here, so. Battlefront, Battlefield. Battlefront. I, play, uh, I don't have that. Play Battlefront, uh, of course. Uh, My family's still up, so probably I won't be gaming until like about an hour. I seen. I walked out there a minute ago and saw my wife, and she was passed out on the couch. Oh, she's mad, bro. No, nah, she was like, out, dude. <laughs> <laughs> she put in her drink, man. See, brink, brink of eternity, and I understand like the the struggle. It's like we'll game when the kids and the wife are up, but the real gaming begins when the wife's asleep. Yeah. Hey, how's and it going he, with your uh, kids, Jesus? You got kids? I got a daughter, man. She's uh, she lives with her mom. So me. I'm the only one that doesn't have any kids that I know of. <laughs> well, I, I at least you got kids. money. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. Seriously, you know, you know those little, like, um, on the back of cars, they have those stick figure families where it's, like, mom and dad. <laughs> yeah. and dad. Yeah. I should go take a picture of mine right now. I actually put one on the back of my car. It's, it's just a, you? It's, it's, <laughs> it's a stick figure. No, no, no. It's a stick figure of me, and then it's a stick figure of my wife, and then a pile of money. Oh, right. nice. That's nice. accurate. Yeah, that sounds that's a lot, man. Cool. Speaking of bumper stickers, have you ever seen but, the but bumper sticker? I understand, sticker like, with you, Scott, you're a teacher. Do you deal with kids all day? So I wouldn't want Well, yeah, and my, my, my mother-in-law is always bugging me to get to have kids, and I'm like, do you like to bring work home? Yeah, you deal with kids all day, dude. I wouldn't want to deal with fucking kids at home and in school. Fuck that. Plus, so, like, I get off, school gets out at 2.20 every day. So I get to like leave work and just come home and have the house to myself for like two or three hours and it's outstanding. It's fucking cool, dude. Yeah. It's so awesome. there's, there's, you know, the 13.1 and 26.2 signifying half marathon, full marathon that you see on Subarus and yeah, funny cars. You say that. My wife actually finished her first full, first full marathon today. Today. So she's so she'll probably buy 26.2, guar almost guaranteed. So yep. I saw one that was 0, 0.0, and I saw that and I couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> this is the idea that you're like, because that's the one I would need, of course, because I, I wouldn't even be able to finish a half marathon. I mean, I, I, I wouldn't be able to finish a sprint. I mean, if it was a zombie apocalypse and it was zombie land, I'd be dead. I I'd saw one that actually said 26.2, but in small letters underneath it said Oreos I can eat in an hour. It's <laughs> 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 looking funny. Oh, uh, good times. Okay. Well, we got to play something in the near future. Do you guys have Castle Crashers? No, man, I no. Uh, we should play some uh, Battlefield, man. You guys have Battlefield 4? I don't have Battlefield. I got Rainbow Six Siege, man. I got Gears. All right, I'll play Gears. Gears I'll play Gears, yeah. Gears. Gears. I'm not playing with Captain Hook. He's too good. <laughs> I suck at that game. Man. I'm I'm like level, Dude, I'm that was a one-off, man. I'm telling you it was a one-off. It was a freak of nature. Just get Captain Hook will never be that good again. Really? I think Captain yeah. Hook. I think Captain Hook down to... his gaming touch, no, man. He, yeah, all right. Let's say you go bowling and you drink one pitcher of beer and yeah, you're like you're a like, beast. You get like a fucking strike. Second every time. pitcher of beer, you're gutter <laughs> ball, dude. Yeah. He was in that zone, man. He had that one pitcher of beer. It was on. You know, like, he was beast in it. But I guarantee it won't happen again. Just watch. Just watch. I remember. That, I think in one of the last matches we played. It was down to he and I, and I really thought I was going to get him. I, oh. <laughs> Did I, I, I remember, played, it was that swamp level. I, I remember it vividly. A while back, I was playing Gears of War, and, and I don't know, man. In the first few matches, I sucked, and then I got back in it, and then I started doing pretty decent, and I was like, oh, this is pretty fun. And then, like, I don't know, man. There's just matches where I play people that are just, all they do is play Gears, and it's fucking stupid. It's like, I can't even get a fucking kill. Yeah, I hate that shit. I like the fact that Gears is balanced. That yeah, we're no like, matter what you yeah. play, you're the same. It's not like Battlefield or Call of Duty where if you've put in 19,000 hours, yeah, go to you have all the loadouts and everything. Nobody and paid for I, I insurance. Just... Yeah. <laughs> that's why I want, I want Battlefront. I'm hoping they work on balancing because that's one thing Titanfall does have. It does not have balancing issues. If you suck, they'll put you with a bunch of other people that suck. And then you can have fun. I don't know. You know, as opposed to like my son playing Battlefront and being like, I hate this when he's playing a 40 player match. But, you know, whereas he can play Call of Duty single player all day because what does he have to worry about? The thing about? about big games with big multiplayer is like that. You don't have to be good. You can just be the guy that does something random. That's true. You're good at that. 
Grab the like case, I, I know, run. I know people that play Battlefield and all they do is snipe. So they're really good at uh, sniping, but they suck. Like if you were to give them like a fucking assault rifle and tell them go out there and shoot these people headshots, they wouldn't get one kill. But they're from like three miles away on top of a building, camping it. They're fucking good. Or what's people that all they, all they your... do is weird shit like drive tanks or something. What's your gamer tag? Is it JKGS? JKSJ. SJ. Yup. Trish Trisky. I all thought right. about changing it, but it's just it's simple and it's what I got. Twelve four thirty nine. Twelve. That's the huge time on my gamer score. Oh. I'm assuming. Yeah. Mine, mine is barely anything. Mine's like 30 something thousand. For a while there, I was number three on, in the last 30 days on popping achievements because I started looking through them. Like I was playing fours and six and going, hmm, what else can I get? Because, again, 